Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning there, Mattis. Making sure to uh, be cognizant of our viewers watching from the West Coast. Good morning to Mattis. Sphinxy, thanks for the 22 months. Hello, Cubicorn. Uh, it's not our buddy J Bell, it's our buddy JJ Bell. How we all doing? Tournament's wrapped up today. I'm pretty sure Ali Reza's event ended today. <laughs> and he did qualify. He did something which is just very impressive. He went to an open tournament with two GMs in it. And he won all his games. I was looking at... Uh, I was looking at this site, <clears throat> and of course it doesn't have Kamski's game here. That's happening today, but if you go to the um, if you go to the site, you can see that uh, he did win against Kamski. The game's already uploaded, so that will be updated there pretty soon. <clears throat> Yep, big Reza. <clears throat> big Reza. Yep. So Ali Reza <coughs> won six games in a row. And I think he's going to qualify off that. But you never know if Wesley so is currently getting a match together in the next two days. <laughs> this is the stuff I like to see. I like to see someone joining an Open, having to win six games in a row, actually doing it, finishing the whole tournament, not withdrawing. I mean, he, uh, he deserves the spot. <clears throat> Exactly, Taxi Poo. Take it into the streets. Thanks, Beanie Kuma, for the 10 months. 22 from Sphinxy. But he, obviously he beat a 1600 and, um, and then an 1800. But pretty much from that point on, none of these are gimmies. Like, he beat a 2200. These are FIDE ratings. 2400 FIDE, 2560 <clears throat> GM. And then, of course, 2650, Kamski, also GM. So those are four tough wins there. So just like UTT, if you guys ever played our viewer tournament, round one, round two might be like super easy, but then boom, as soon as round three hits, you're playing people you're rating or stronger. So as I said in uh, our latest recap video, I'm a big fan of him joining an open tournament like this. And so we should see it reflected on this site pretty soon. Rapid is also done. And despite winning the event, Magnus lost Rapid rating. Not that many people gained. Pretty much everyone bled out. That's right, Bonker. If 
felt like Magnus won this event very easily. Like, I wasn't paying attention to every round. I wanted to be up to watch the games, but it's just too early. Um, but yeah, like... He didn't lose a single Rapid game. He went on a crazy streak here. And he did, uh, he did just enough, like, all of this for him to lose rating. Ouch. Lots of draws on the top boards in the final round. Yeah, uh, Uncy, that's including the Toronto event, correct. That's a good point. Let's uh, verify. Oh, that's it. Uh, who the hell knows? Yeah, he must have gained in this tournament, but it is still close. He must have gained, but barely. Because he lost a lot for this first round draw. And if you think of numbers sort of balancing each other out, definitely gained, but it was marginal. Probably like five points. So yeah, he lost the majority of his points in this event. So he won the Champions Chess Tour. He won the World Rapid Championship in the span of like a couple weeks. And he's down rating. He played a lot of chess recently. So Vongri, or Vongrifius, is there another round of this event? I read somewhere that it was a six round event, but maybe there's more. I wonder what I was reading then, because six would be very, eh, wouldn't be that weird, but a little bit odd. I actually thought it was nine. Oh, round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there are seven rounds. So, tournament's not over. I'm assuming if he... Hmm, it's a good question. If he draws... Well, first of all, who's he going to play? It's possible that he draws a game and still qualifies. But if he wins, that would be sick. That would be sick. <sighs> well, Bonker's sick. As I said, Ali Reza it doesn't know if they're going to rate this tournament or not. So actually, there is a lot of point for him to play. Because this tournament faced a lot of scrutiny. And honestly, I don't think Fide should rate it. I think there's a chance they don't. And if they don't, he's going to lose all this rating he gained from it. So he actually does need to play. Because if he wins his next round, then even without this tournament, he'll be in the candidates. Low-key, I think Fide is hoping, praying, that he just plays the next round in his tournament and wins so that Fide cannot rate this and be like, we stand against this. But Ali Reza also qualifies to the candidates. It's kind of the best case scenario. Like, for example, if Ali Reza would only make it into candidates or not into candidates, whether they rated or didn't rate this tournament, then Fide, their decision, like, literally just affects whether someone gets in or not. But I'm saying if he's already in, they get to be like, all right, well, we won't rate it. And then, obviously, Ali Reza doesn't care at that point. So I think Fide wants him to win the next round. <coughs> and then I think they won't rate this tournament. That's what I predict. Now, this is a new rule. Basically, if you play a very low-rated player, 
you get this many points. If you play another very low rated player in the same tournament right after, you don't get any points. It's to stop you from just showing up and farming the weak guys. But it was a rule that was implemented like this year. Before that rule, you could do that. You would get plus 0 0.8 for every noob you beat. Yeah, I'm waiting for this Kamski result to, uh, to show up there, just because it would be nice. But yeah, if Kamski's almost 2650, then sick and Amen, you guys are probably right that plus that win here is enough of a gap between them that he's still fine. However, I'm sure that Ali Reza at this point, he's also played all the GMs in his tournament. Objectively, he has decent chances to win his final round games, just one game. He might not want any more criticism. And if you withdraw, like joining a tournament, getting what you need and withdrawing, it's not the best look. Especially because you could make the argument that he didn't need to play Kamski this round. Because you could assume they're going to rate the other tournament, so... I think at this point, he's probably just going to finish the event out, but we'll see. We'll see. I know what you guys are saying. It makes the most sense. Hey, you did what you need to do, now withdraw. I get that, to be honest. But I feel like at this point, he got so much criticism for his last tournament, he doesn't want any asterisk beside his name for this one as well. It'd be better if he just like finished the tournament and, in his case, hopefully won uh, the last round. I think so, fly you fools. Hamster Ham, thanks for the 39 months, buddy. Thanks for the 39. Hamster Ham, 88. Force to draw, 61 months. Hello, Fad. Pretty impressive comeback from you and Moistad in the World Rapid there, Fad. I have to admit, I counted you guys out. So we're following Big Reza. Also, were there any crazy overperformances in this tournament? Any exciting games that I should be looking at? Hans with uh, eight and a half. Pretty good uh, result for Hans. Hello to Moistad. Oh yeah, I have to check on like, I need a wellness check on Esipienko here. Yeah, this, Esipienko's final day, the guy lost, drew, lost, and drew. Trash. Absolutely trash. After doing very well. Just terrible. Inditch as well. Oof, my guy's really uh, choked. I saw that cyst at all. I think that was uh, that was already news from yesterday, wasn't it? Pranav at least finished the tournament well. Beat Ganguly, Savchenko, and Sajirov. Danya, thanks for the raid. Yo, yo. Good afternoon, folks. 
I was literally in a trance watching Danya play uh, Tang and Hyper Bullet yesterday for like an hour on stream. <laughs> How late did that match go? Thanks, Danya. Two hundred games. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Hello, Jadoub. Yes, he did, Tommy. We were just catching up on not only the World Rapid, the results, and some of the crazy upsets, but also the, um, the Ali Reza trying to qualify for candidates. Saga, let's call it. Do I think Ali Reza should play tomorrow or withdraw? I think he should play tomorrow. I really do. I'm not sure what he will do. I think it's objectively smarter to withdraw. I think he should play. Because then nobody can say anything about him. If he withdraws, he has to deal with the fact that he set up his own tournament and he joined and like used this weekend tournament and then withdraw as soon as he had what he needed. It's just not the best look for like, you know, just not the most alpha look. I think an alpha shows up tomorrow, wins, goes 7 out of 7, beats the allegations, and whether or not Fide decides to rate his initial tournament, he's in the candidates with a clean slate. He hasn't done anything remotely shady. Right? He, he joined uh, an open tournament. He won all his games. You can't hold anything against him. Checking on Buddy Pranav. This guy's a very good player. I played him at the last event. Extremely dangerous. Yeah, it is seven rounds moist. He can withdraw right now, though. Were there any uh, exciting games from the, the Rapid that I should check from today? Like any, uh, any impressive results? Or nice moves? There's so many games to go through, I couldn't possibly locate them all, but... I don't know how big Cool be, but he's definitely a good player. Mattis, uh, you'll soon learn that that is a routine streamer trick. Pick somebody who's, uh, it helps if they're up and coming, but pick somebody who has a great tournament that you know that you've beaten, and maybe, maybe don't even mention that you've beaten them. And just lay the compliments on. Hikaru was very good at this. Just lay the compliments on. Oh, this guy's next genera generational talent. So good. Oh, this guy's one of the best players. Not a lot of people know how strong this guy is. He's super talented. He's, he's the next big thing. Wow, really? Well, what do you think of his gameplay? Ha have you played him? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I beat him multiple times. I'm working on my delivery. <laughs> Dosa, thanks for the 25 months. And Imanads, thanks for the 100 bits. Man, this Volodar Merzin guy always kills these world rapid world blitz events he literally didn't lose a single game that's super impressive 
Not many people even know who this guy is. Like, he's a GM. I mean, he's a kid, but he didn't lose a single game. He beat Prague. He beat Napo. He drew, like, every single top GM in the world. He beat Levon, and he didn't lose a single game. Merzin is the absolute killer in World Rapid Blitz. Check Vidit's last game. Wow, this is exciting. I'm glad I did that. Maybe we can spend some time and analyze this one. Ferruja defeated Kamsky. Yes, we already talked about that. I'm waiting for it to show up here. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it showed up here. Because we were looking at his game against uh, Kamsky already. Right here. Now it showed up. 2764 from Big Reza. There we go. Oof, what a Chad. What a Chad. And there's one more round in this tournament. These were the pairings for round six. So if he played Kamsky, he's already played this 2400. I'm assuming he's probably going to play this 2300 regardless of that result. But he could also play one of these low rated guys if they got a win. Like, if either of these guys beat somebody here, then he'll probably play them. Because he's already played Gada, he's already played Pang, Hugo, Tirard, he's already played these guys. So he'll either play uh, this 2300, or he might play like a 2k or something. Yeah, let's say this 2300 loses to the GM, which is entirely likely. They'll have four and a half. And then one of these two, or even this guy, could win, and they would have five points, and then he would be playing them instead. What happens if Fide does not include his personal tournament? Well, right now, if Fide does not include his personal tournament, he is in the candidates. No, he already beat Gata. So we'll see if he withdraws. You know what's uh, extra Chad? So he just beat Gata, which means Gata has four and a half points. Faruja has six. What's extremely alpha is if he withdraws, he might still win the tournament. <laughs> yeah, all right. <clears throat> I don't need to play the last round. You guys figure it out. Just send me the check. Just send me the goddamn check. He did gain some rating, uh, MN2197, but look at the difference between Wesley and Ali Reza. It's now a uh, pretty significant margin. So even if they don't count that other tournament, he's still fine. I like Faruja. Yeah, I love this energy. Joining an open tournament with a couple days to spare before the uh, rating spot. That's great. Organizing his own personal tournament. Don't like that. But this, this is great stuff. We have to wait and see what Faruja does tomorrow. Whether he stays in his tournament and plays his game. Or if he withdraws. Right now, he's got everything he wants. If he plays tomorrow... He's only risking. But I still think he should play tomorrow. But if he plays tomorrow and draws or loses, he's not guaranteed the spot. JBots86, thanks for the 10 months. Okay, I'm going to trust you here, Raw Image. 
The la our last recommendation for a game was this one, so you have to do better than that. Wait a minute. I have not seen Tim Cannon here all morning. I have also not seen Real Team Money here all morning. Tim says good morning and Real Team Money chimes in. These guys are joined at the hip. Since I haven't seen a single message from either of them. They come in at the exact same time. Very suspicious stuff. Real tea keeping pace with Tim. Tim, I have an end game for you here, buddy. Familiar, right, Tim? Familiar. Two pawns. The, the problem is, at this point, they're so advanced, and the king's cut off on the last rank, that this should be too far gone uh, to, to make a draw. But if these were further back, then it would be a book draw. However... Oh, C2. That's just not it. Nah. Come here and get some. Thanks for 23 months. Wow, a brand new tier 3 from uh, Bijan BH. Thanks, dude. Just coming in hot with the tier 3 like that. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, this is your buddy, Tim. This is your friend, you. You could have won money if your friend, Yu Yang Yi, was in the chess bra gym, Tim. How do you feel? Because the difference between you and money was half a point. And this is the half a point right here. Thanks for 22 months, Imeno. So, I don't know. Magnus felt like he cruised to victory. Never in this tournament did it feel like ultra competitive. Magnus kind of got to the top of the event. And more or less stayed there the entire time. I don't know. But it just makes it look that easy. Oh. Pieces and pawns. I got the other tab open, so I do see it there. Thank you for the kick, Cinco, my friend. You know what? Even if I go to chess results, and I'm just trying to check the 2023 FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championship, even if I'm just chilling, we got a big fat ad here suggesting to be a kick streamer. Kick is the most rewarding live streaming platform. Look at that. Completely random, unbiased ad. They have no idea about anything. Just, I'm sure everyone has the same ad. Must be.
They were smart for that language, Realty. Kick is the most rewarding, the most financially rewarding live streaming platform. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Thanks, pieces and pawns. Appreciate that. And thank you, Edwig, for the flowey. I see you too. So lots to catch up on, but, you know, we've done our due diligence for the morning. Ali Reza currently in the candidates. Even if they don't rate his fabricated tournament, which is great. I hope he plays tomorrow, even though he doesn't have to. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But currently, he's in the candidates regardless of his other event. Nope, I see it, pieces and pawns. He's validated on my end. Magnus won the World Rapid for like the billionth time. If Magnus wins the World Blitz, it'll be consecutive years that he's dual champion and I honestly think Magnus at this point might even care more about being the world rapid and blitz champion like those mean significantly more to him than being the actual world champion not only is that clear because he withdrew but I feel like even if he just happened to be the, the classical world champion at the moment the other ones would, would feel a lot better the, the world is trending towards more rapid and blitz. Better representation of like who the better player is right now. Yeah, the new triple crown is not classic rapid and blitz. It's rapid, blitz, and 960. That's the trifecta. Blunderbra, thanks for 69 months. Big resub from Blunderbra. 69 month resub. Nice. Nice. So big updates. Magnus, World Rapid Champ, Feruja currently in the candidates. Nepo didn't have a great event. But it's understandable, he didn't have a lounge. Tian Khan, thanks for the 51 months. You're aiming for that 69. It's coming. A year and change. When is the World Blitz? It starts literally tomorrow. It's only a two-day event, so it's like, I think, uh, what is it, 10 rounds and 11 rounds? Or 11 and 10? I think it's a 21-round event. Whoever wins the candidates goes up against Big Ding. That's correct. I think they may have rescinded the fine, Fly You Fools, which would be very normal. 100 euros is not worth the uh, backlash. Who was the amazing 10 year old? Uh, I think there was an eight year old in the event who scored five and a half or something. What was his name? Shh. This guy? Yeah, he scored five and a half. He's literally eight years old. He beat two GMs. He drew three GMs. And he beat a pair of IMs. Guys, eight. Eight! Eight years old is crazy. Faustino? Oh, that wasn't the best search. Here we go. He got four points. Four points. 
That shows you how impressive the other score was. Five and a half from an eight-year-old is nuts. I'm pretty sure I scored five and a half. Jesus Christ, I gotta, I gotta go check my world uh, rapid performance from last year. Holy fuck, oh, Jesus Christ, one sec. Oh my goodness. Very disturbing. Yes! Yes! I scored six points. All because of win against Sam Shanklin. Six points. Yes, get him out of here. That's big. That's big. Staying ahead of the eight-year-olds. Let's go. That was close. Jeez. I was sweating looking that one up. Six points. Let's go, baby. Get him out of there. Wow. What a result. So, we have this individual. No, not Faustino. This, uh... Yeah, this guy. So... He drew... Three GMs. He beat two GMs. And he beat two IMs. To get to five and a half. Now, your old man over here... Drew... Three GMs, drew an untitled player, beat a CM, beat two IMs, and beat one GM. Thank you very much. A much better player, Grandmaster Mon Hamilton, right here. I'll be here all day taking questions. I did Nimzo Indian. That's old news. Old news, buddy. How do your performance ratings compare? I mean, there's no need to really do a comparison, is there? No need to, uh, no need to bother. We already know who the better player is. Performance rating, 24-29. Performance rating, 24-15. Clearly, uh, we didn't adjust this performance rating for inflation. What you guys don't understand, and I don't expect you to, obviously, as, as people that just don't play chess professionally, so I'll explain it to you. Uh, there's a year-by-year -year inflation, um, and it's just not being accounted for in this performance rating, so this is actually a more impressive score given the timeline that it was scored in. The 2022 uh, world chess situation, you know, the socioeconomics of the of the rating uh, scale and, and the Glico system actually mean that this score right here, this performance rating is actually more impressive than the 24-29 scored here. Uh, but I wouldn't expect you guys to understand that. Thank you, Wagamama. I've been trying to explain to these guys, but... I mean, I'm glad, glad we have a reliable, reputable source here with us. Some, some validation. So, yep, you know, the eight-year-olds uh, definitely say hello. 
I mean, what? Year of birth. 2015. That's just crazy to think about. Born in 2015. I have some... I have some fucking tomato sauce. That's probably older than him. Born in 2015 is crazy. Oh, you can't be saying that, Heaven, not without uh, some official uh, official links. Yep, LBC, we got to get some links. No, we got to officialize this. Hang on. You can't be spewing out nonsense without official drama recap links. No, nope. we might have to ban that guy. Yep, link or ban. Link or ban. Can't be spewing nonsense in here. He said that Ali Reza withdrew from the tournament. I was pranking bro just for fun purposes. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, just make sure to add this name to the registry here. All right. Okay. The registry I'm adding your name to is a different one than the one you're probably already on. All right, Heaven007, it is going to be a ban. For trolling the chat for fun purposes, I am also going to ban you for fun purposes. We'll see you soon, Heaven. Just for fun purposes. <laughs> Now, when the news drops that Ali Reza withdrew from the tournament with a confirmed source, we will reconsider his unbanning. Fun to be on this side of the band, says Paul JB. Yeah, Paul knows. He's been on both sides. Hello, AB Shakespeare. Master AJ, thanks for the 38 months. And Arthur, bro, chill. Thank you for the 14 months. He says, ban me. <laughs> Arthur. It's a privilege, my friend. One that you've not earned. Hello, Boris. Tommy, you're looking for marbles, eh? It's pretty early for that, no? Early afternoon. You think people are inspired? From, uh, from Ali Reza. They're going to want to play some chess now, Tommy. Keep in mind, guys. Uh, Real T, you probably didn't get the update. A lot of people might be missing the update. But we do have some big news to report. 
That's right. The one and only Tim Cannon has done enough to bring back his show. There was talk of canceling HET's show. However, through hard work and dedication, Tim is looking to bring back our regular segment of Tim Cannon goes for a new peak rating. You didn't get the update, Real T? Tim is down 11 ELO from when we last spoke. He heard talks of the show being canceled and he said, you know what? I got another loss in me. Guess we'll try to do this. I don't have much to do here. I was thinking about it, Tommy. I was thinking about it. I think I might do it now. Obviously, giving up some squares, but getting some. Getting some as well. This would be bold. I think this is objectively a bit better. <laughs> yep, a bold move. I don't like this anymore because of B3. Okay, he does go for that. Taking feels like it's timed correctly. Bishop g5, probably f6 actually. Knight g5, I mean, we'll just take it and take. Bishop here, we could also consider taking. I'd like this knight on e6, if everything went my way, that's what I would have. I think the move f6 is not crazy here. Right here, I'll take. Thanks, Matty. Big raid for this win right here. This upcoming win. Bishop g5, I think we're always playing f6. I know he can play e6 here, but I'm going to try to say that's okay for me.
Oof. Bad draw. I had a bunch of pawns. What did I need to play? Knight takes d4. Played b4 and then literally can't avoid the draw. Feels bad, man. Or, sorry, can't avoid the draw the way I played it. That's for sure. Uh, if the raid was bigger, uh, it would have had the win. Yeah, that has to be at AB. You know. Good streamer always has an excuse in store. Buried in the back. Thanks to Maddie for providing a great excuse for the boys. He was looking out for us. He saw we were on shaky ground, might not win. He's like, don't worry, I got you. I got you. Yeah, it's true, Sleazy. I, I was thinking about that recently. Have you ever heard that... Uh, you ever heard that joke about um, how there's a guy uh, stranded on an island? And, you know, there, there, let's say there's like... There's a guy stranded on an island, and he's waiting to be saved, and like a boat comes by, and he's like... No, no, like, uh, I'm not going to get on the boat. Like, you know, God has a plan for me. Now. God will save me. And another boat comes by, and he's like, no, no, I've been praying to God. Like, you know, God's got me on this one. And then no more boats come, and eventually the guy dies stranded on the island, and he goes up and speaks to God after he's dead. And God's like, you fucking moron. I sent you a couple boats, dude. What are you doing? Definitely, definitely reminds me a little bit, you know, could be, could be very similar to our buddy Wesley. You know, Wesley's like, you know, I'm just going to let it play out. You know, just going to let it play out. It's not in my hands. And then later on, when he's not qualified to the candidates, God is like, dude, I, wait, I gave you a loophole where you could create your own tournament and just win it by playing your buddies. <laughs> and you didn't... What, what, come on, dude. Sometimes you got to get on the boat, Jadu. Sometimes you got to get on the boat. That's the true moral here. Deep meanings. Hmm. Probably gonna have to take this. It's too forcing to avoid. I'd like to play this move, actually. I feel like the bishop's not that great, which is why I left him with that piece, but we'll see, we'll see. We could have used the other, the other one. I feel like knight d3 is too strong. He's got to play this. But the pawns get very weak afterwards. It stops rook c2. And I think it also prepares this.
Wow, he didn't take it? That's crazy. That's crazy. I thought he would take because he actually had bishop f4, bishop takes h6. Only big mistake I made though. Oof. Barely. Just barely. The old man still got some latent speed here. Just, you know, just playing with uh, so much. I feel inspired from Mr. Reza. I think that's it. Playing with a different type of momentum. That's right, AB. He done now. So, uh, Tim. Is Tim here? We have to discuss uh, contract terms, Tim. Your, if I'm not mistaken, your rating seems to have taken a, uh, taken a plummet from ETH levels. Tim's playing a game. Thank you for the update, Okanom. No doubt Tim knows contract discussions were coming. And he wanted to start a game. To have better uh, negotiating terms. Tim's at 15.19. But you see this? You see this? Real T. Tim was up here, literally, at 15.45. I mean, Tim was up there with the big boys. 15.49. We could have had a, a new show. A new episode of Tim Cannon Goes for a Peak Rating. But instead, Tim plummets. Just absolutely plummets. It's like he has no regard for the, the numbers. But now, Big Tim is on a rampage. He's won four in a row. And he's trying to bring the numbers back up. His highest is 1559. Set a week ago. But, you know, this, uh, the Tim Cannon goes for a new peak rating show is ready, ready for a new episode. Yep. Tim up a piece and thriving. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? No, no, I mean it. Is there anybody that would have the gall to play bishop takes h7 here? You gotta be out of your mind. Oh my goodness, 91. Good lord. Oh my god, how did Tim win this? What the hell? Oh my goodness. Knight takes f4. Genius by Tim. Understanding that keeping the queen is hardly worth it and you can simplify into an endgame up a piece. Great stuff from Tim. Deep understanding from the cannon. Tim is fighting for those viewership numbers. He knows people are not going to tune in unless he can show something. Unless he can show that this uh, episode is worth your attention.
Oh, my goodness. You're going to trade pieces with the one and only Tim Cannon 25? No, no, no. That doesn't work around here. Just to give you guys an idea of what um, what is actually possible with FIDE, prior to like four or five months ago, in order to put it into chess.com terms, I could create a club on chess.com called like Chess Bra Light and only permit entry to the club to people under a thousand elo and then host a weekly tournament and if i won a game against the 1000 i would get just shy of one rating point and i could just do it in perpetuity that's basically the equivalent of what was possible in fide until about four or five months ago crazy Tim going for the energetic thrust. Yep, thrusting. Oh, and you can't even uh, <laughs> can't even cover. I mean, even if this happens, yeah. Tim with uh, with no vision here. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> D two, bro. <laughs> Okay, that was a friendly move from Black there. High energy move from Tim? No. No. Yes, getting out of there. The king is stuck in here, and this won't even be a stalemate even if it does happen. That move doesn't matter. Oh, Tim's getting it right out of there. Yep. No possibility to mess this up. No possibility. Queenie with check. You love to see it. Go, Tim. Hello to Tim Cannon. Tim, we saw the whole game. We were very impressed by you, Tim. To win... To win that game after this is... I would say potentially even a mark of genius. Only a select few are capable of this. I don't think I, I actually don't think I could do it. Just me personally. Bishop e2. What's bishop e2? What are you on about, Mr. Realty? Hello, Wild Hacks? I didn't, but what I did catch was my guys going like 0 0.5 or 1 out of 4. Like guys like Esipenko. Like Team Amon had it in the bag, but some very disturbing results. We are watching Tim Moistud, but Tim is looking to adopt the pool. All right, we're officially selling tickets.
We are officially selling tickets to the Tim show. Tim is looking to adopt the pool and he's won five games in a row. I think we can sell tickets to this show. This is not a peak rating show, but adopting the pool, I think that can still sell. Let's not forget one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tim almost got adopted by the pool. He lost nine out of 10 games. Nine out of 10. And now he's looking to redeem himself by winning 10 in a row by his own accord. Sist it all with five subs. Thank you, Sist it all. Making sure he has his ticket. Thank you, buddy. Sist it all has his ticket. Yep, step right up, right over here. It's James time. Thanks for the nine months. Corpse Slime, 21 months. Moistud, you're 2,300? What the hell? Dude, what happened? Moistud at 2,300, like, I kind of forgot some, I forget sometimes Moist actually knows how to play chess. Tim with $100 for the marble celebration after the show. Tim, it's official. Sis that all has the first ticket. Thank you to Tim Cannon for $100. Ensuring big marbles energy post show. And sis that all, thanks for getting the first, first VIP ticket. We'll award one as well to Pieces and Pawns for the kick sync up. VIP for what? I mean, you must not be aware. This is the coveted Tim show. Will be fine. Gifting a sub to K Hiking. Is K Hiking here? Is that a targeted sub? Will be fine? That's a deep sub, if so. K Hiking has been following the channel since 2015. That was random? That's crazy. K Hiking is one of our. <laughs> Maybe first 20 viewers. K Hiking has been watching for an extremely long time. Very good random sub. Eight years, five months for K Hiking. Armageddon, thanks for the five months. Moistud, you want to watch Tim? Well, where's your Tim ticket, Moistud? Tim is on a five-game win streak. Moistud, are you fading Tim? I need to eat at the tab. I'm pro Tim. Wow, definitely. That's a big follow age from an account that has truly, truly never been subbed. You may have the record, sir. Definitely. You may have the record. Never been subscribed to the channel once and been following for more than seven years. With only 33 messages in your entire history of watching the channel. Quite impressive from Jeff. A 
A Lurk Lord for sure. Yep, yeah, Mattis and K hiking. Cut from the same cloth. 2015 draft class, bro. Thank you, Lucheco. Gifting a sub to Jeffinitely. He's officially a subscriber for the first time in his illustrious seven year career. Already done one, Aiden Deng. It gets uploaded to our YouTube channel weekly. It's called Slow Bra, but it's there. It's there for your uh, content consumption. Tim is playing 5-0. Oh, definitely. And Washed Adult, thanks for the 20 months. Hello to Airbus Driver. Good afternoon to ABD. No, I, you know, I don't know if it's smart to want it, Wild Hacks, but that's why I was asking uh, Moist if he was willing to go. I'm chasing. It might not be smart, but I'm in there. Chasing. Down bad. Yeah, you have some support, Tim. There are some guys rallying behind you. Your Christmas just started. Well, happy holidays, ABD. There's uh, four letters, or four numbers, right, Mattis? If I recall. Or maybe the account's just fully deactivated. I'm pretty sure it was 0202, and there may be an underscore there. The, the only combinations it could be are underscore in or out and then either four or six digits it's 0202 or 020202 uh, i'm pretty those would be my only guesses the account could also just be fully deactivated i'm not sure about that could i qualify for world rapid surprisingly yes <laughs> i might not uh meet the dress code requirements but you know, we're barely scraping in. Just barely. Defile, tier three for 32 months. Thank you, Defile. Hey, big Defile or Defile. If you want to be a nerd, thanks for the tier three, man. Tim, we have some uh, action locked in. How are you feeling? 5 0 Tim. Yep, the statistics are here. Tim Cannon is on a five-game win streak. We're selling tickets, collecting entries. Yeah, booked Moistad. Let's say 
auto booked on the first five games regardless and then we can see oh yeah tim we we saw we saw the uh we saw the last game and that was all we needed to see really inspired confidence Yep, Tim is a streaky player, for sure. Let's see. Oh, Tim is not logged in. Get a refill. I'm having my morning coffee. Yep, I think we're ready, Tim. We got some action from uh, Moista. Going for the refill here. Good luck to young Tim. Joining the five minute pool. And he's already in. He's already in, folks. Load ABD. Respectating Tim. This is the biggest uh, segment, numbers wise, that this stream does. Go, Tim. You never like to see this move when someone plays A3. Just not the vibe at all. Not the vibe at all. They do this to save their bishop. You go here. Doesn't help. Tim's in big trouble here. Because he's playing it as if he was playing this opening. He's playing it like this, where he's going knight a5 and c5. This is acceptable. Look at the huge difference between that and what we see here. Not only does he not have a bishop, there's no space being gained with the pawns. He doesn't even win the light squared bishop or even force it to move somewhere uncomfortable. And white can play f4 straight away. Yep. So this is big issues for TC. I was expecting perhaps this move to pop in there. We'll be fine says Tim has this. I expect Tim to drop back maybe with this one to oppose this. I mean, these are just not very appetizing. Maybe this, but it looks a bit suspicious. I think this is a normal move, but yeah, after this, gotta go here, in trouble from this. We're at risk here. We're at risk. Tim with a really tough position to deal with. Tim surviving this would be a... A true feat. Okay, now let's gauge Tim's energy here. I would do this. Not saying it's good. It's just what I would do because I, I just don't want to deal with this. Like this, it looks like you're trending towards doom. Tim's truly not that kind of player though. Tim's a sturdy bro. Very sturdy. He's not a this kind of guy. But if you, let's just play like a random move. You know, this is where it gets very, very scary. Because the pieces are, are coming in. Like, you, you're, you're just kind of cooked here. Yeah, you see? Queen here. And I think, I think he's actually trying to be relatively tricky here. No, he's not. He's not trying to be relatively tricky. You see what I mean? Tim is not an energetic player like that. Tim was back against the wall and he just splat. Like, just cr crushed. He just allowed, he put the queen on a square it could get. 
forked, just terrible. Like, huh? Huh? Awful. Whereas Salty would take that night in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. They wouldn't even be a discussion. So that's one example where being the more active type of player, a more energetic player, is you're, you're rewarded for that. Where did Tim's rating go? Great question. You'll have to take that up with Tim. Okay, Tim's a big trade guy. Big trade guy, Tim. Are we going to see one of these moves? I'm slightly bothered by this, but okay, not that much, I guess. He might bring a, a rook in, can't complain there. Black always does well to play a move like this in these positions. These moves are extremely annoying. Okay, that move is awful. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great move. Oh, just a terrible sequence from Black. Terrible. Now, will Tim be able to capitalize here? Just puts the bishop in the middle of nowhere. Tim with a potentially high energy move. Okay, this is very unlike Tim. Committing a lot of positional weaknesses. I guess he just wants that move or that move. Okay. Now, Tim can make this work, but I would say it's very anti-Tim. Ooh, is he going to go at this piece or what? Okay. He's making it work. I would say this was a little more tempting. So that even if you do play this, look at the difference. If black plays this, they don't have that square for the night. So much better than this. Wow, Tim's a two-bishop guy, eh? Big two-bishop guy, Tim. This bishop, terrible. This knight, not great. Can always be removed as well. Maybe this and this. Or even this. Fine, too. See what he wants to do. Yeah, he's going to keep the energy. And if Rook here, he's probably going to go there. I respect it. Big bishop pair guy, Tim Cannon. Definitely a good looking position, but by no means dead. Not, not even close. Okay, b6. I'm assuming this one is happening in half a second, and there it is. This move now exists. b6 does stop bishop a7. I get it, but it's kind of a nothing move. White's position is improving big time. Like, does black's improve? Black's position improve more from this? Or white's more from this? The answer is obvious. That's how you can tell that white's advantage is increasing. Yeah, b6, a5. I mean, they're not bad moves, but truly, I don't think the position is improving for black here. Now, moves that come to my mind, I would say probably this one, this one, uh, maybe this one. This one for sure, always, always good. This will never be a bad move, but it's also like a, I'm not sure what we're doing here move. I don't, I don't think, for example, we want to open another... I mean, it's not a big problem, but I would say it's not the main goal of the position. Wow, Tim's really a tuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What are we tucking here? Tim's using the coveted boner flip into the boxer's tuck technique, except he's flaccid. There's nothing to tuck. Not sure what this is. Very 
very strange decision from uh, TC. I mean, I guess he's going to start with it, but I can only assume that his plan with this is to go more. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, of course, I would have started with pawn takes just to not lose a pawn here, but it's it's a decent energy. That's the right direction. ABD is fawning over the bishops. I mean, this guy is super strong here. And it's tucked away. Better or for worse, Tim got his tuck in. Takes, takes, and here will be like just GG. So we'll see if he's capable of uh, managing that. Black has some checks, but they look slightly irrelevant. This bishop's still doing nothing. He might look to activate it, but if Tim realizes that this diagonal is you know, where he wants to be, and I think he does because he played this, he understood that. Okay, we see this. Definitely a scary move. Tim... In reaction to this, I would say might be a, this kind of guy. Just knowing the cannon. But I, 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 there is a place in the world for, for that kind of a move as well. Oh, Fish is Team Tim. Like I said, I, I know the cannon pretty well. Definitely not... Thinking about this, Tim's a react, bro. Sees this, sees danger, stops danger. Understandable. So in this position, bishop here would have been a crazy move, a very good move. Understanding that that's now available, but that's, that's a tough move to spot. As expected, Tim's a sturdy bra. Defend, you know, just take care of things. However... If black goes here to save that, then we're really saying hello. Oh, Tim's not missing that. Tim's not. No, no. I know the cannon. Oh! Boom. Right there, baby. Big time move from the cannon. So he's got this in the bag, but oh, Tim looking for better. Oh! Oh! Oh, Tim displaying the understanding. Oh, get him out of here. There we go. And that bishop that we tucked away is now fully erect on E6. Who's laughing now? Knight e2, knight g3, cow bra. What the hell is this? I do not respect this. Also, what's Tim doing? Oh my. L-E-T. What the hell is this move, dude? Get your goddamn pieces out. Huh? D6, good lord. Well, well, yeah, let's just have at her, Tim, as expected. Hunting for the lowest energy moves in the position. Yep, we found them. Guys, I'm going to let you in on a secret right now. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Don't tell anyone. This is between me and you. If somebody's castled with a knight on g3, just play queen h4. Just do it. Just do it. It'll be the best place piece you ever had. They can never remove it. You can often combine it with knight to g4. Just the best possible arrangement of piece. Just do it. That's it. That's it. Instead, I don't know what Tim's up to here. Queen e7. Castles? We're moving pieces again. 
Okay, finally we strike in the center, but goddamn, at this point, it's looking scary. Oh, B6. Tim's a big C6 guy. Actually, taking it's not a bad move as well, but Tim, Tim could be a C6 guy. I, I like this move better, though. I just didn't expect him to play it. Okay, this is, uh, you know, easy, easy. Got to open up uh, things as well. And this is not scary for the moment. Yep, there we go. All right, well, this is easy to react to. Just going to sidestep somewhere. This move makes a lot more sense than that. So pretty easy move to play. Bishop b4. Kind of an interesting move. He wants to play with an open file. And Tim says, oh, you're looking for an open file? Let me help you, my friend. You seem to be struggling. Let me help you immediately checkmate me. Oh my goodness, Tim. Oh! What are we taking? Why are we taking the worst piece in the position and bringing the queen here? Why is he not bringing the queen here? Yeah, 928, thanks for the 57 months. Jesus. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we need like one of these moves. Yeah, he's gonna go here. Okay. These moves are too high energy. Sure, surely the guy's going here. Yes. There we go. Either move acceptable. This one more acceptable. Takes, there we go. Tim's out of the dungeon here. We're not okay yet, but we're out of the dungeon. Maybe a queen trade from uh, high energy Tim. Okay, no, absolutely. Like, if there was a, like a fire alarm for danger, it, it would not have any functionality in Tim's position. My guy's playing queen d3 like his king. Like the best piece... Defending his king is not the opponent's pawn. Oh my goodness, this is scary. Because this is loose, but that's that king is looser. Oh, but Tim! But Tim! At least we have this and this. There's hope. There's hope. Because Buddy's not doing this. Yeah, let's go, Tim. No, no, we're actually in this. We're actually in this because we're hitting this as well. We are not dead yet, folks. Hold on. Tim is still saying hello here. I don't know how, but we're, 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 in it. we're playing the game. We don't deserve to be, but we're playing the game. I guess. I mean, maybe this, but either way. Have to deal with that, I guess. He might go here. I could see that too. But see what he does. Thanks, uh, Hugo, for the brand new sub. Cheers, dude. Oh, what a classy man. Oh, Jesus. I'm tired of this guy in his class. Enough already. He's. I mean, if he doesn't do this, we're, we're so happy. Tim can hold this, but unfortunately, this is a, a dark square pawn, so very tough to access. We might be able to hold for a draw, but we're going to have to hold while doing absolutely nothing. Oh, nasty. So we can kind of put the bishop here and just like do nothing. I don't think we want to go... Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Oh, he's definitely going to go this way. Okay, he's bringing the king near the pawns. He's going to put this here. And just try to like keep all the pawns like wedged near the, the king. Yeah, okay. I like this at least. White for sure is heading this way. 
Okay. So there's some energy here. We can't take it, so we got to go. Yeah. Got to take that. Yeah. Pretty good attempt. Yeah. And save this guy. Okay. I mean, hey, best him could have done, for sure. For sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tim could not have done better than this, literally. Now we got this, and this again. This is protected, so yep, yep, yep. And is he going to sneak under? Big Tim with the under sneak? Okay, after this, he's got to probably go back. Yes, he could sneak under. Tim with the under sneak? At this point, he can also go like that. Wait, Tim with the win, no? Tim with energy here. Ooh, he went under too early. Oh, he's going to take that, though. I don't know how that worked. Oh, come on, buddy. Ah, come on. Tim with the sneak. No, not that way. God damn it. Wait. He's got this block. Is he going to shuffle this way? Eight seconds for Tim. The guy's going to check. Yes, he's going to check. He didn't take the bishop. Tim with the sneak. Still possible. Still possible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So winning for Tim. How do, how do you not move your king? And push that damn thing. How do you not push the goddamn pawn? All right, we're regrouping. We got to regroup here. Tim's back at it again. Quirks, thanks for the three month resub. Okay, he's playing a guy who has zero pieces developed on move eight. You love to see that. Tim is a big trade guy. You know... 94 is so much better here, restricting the pawns. Those are weaknesses. Instead, Tim is, you know, let me fix that for you. Bishop g5, let me trade that for you. Let me, uh, let me take care of things for you. Okay, big c4 from Tim, that's right. I could see uh, an energetic move like this. Yeah, definitely the right idea from Tim here, using this. But blocks... I don't think should be too concerned here. Okay. Opponent's playing fairly well. Bishop I prefer to the knight, but he's behind in development. Pretty decent move there. Cannot do this. That's going to walk into this. Yeah, Tim is in... I, I would definitely go so far as to say trouble here. Takes... I guess he's going this way. Yeah, he goes with the knight, but I mean, we're just... Like, we're just dropping this, right? That's just plus one to the books for black. The advantage that we once had... Way back here... Right, we had all the development. Just gone. Vaporized. Trading every piece. All of a sudden, black looking great. Rook E3 from Tim. Now, I actually like this a little bit more. Instead of taking this pawn and maybe just being worse here, down a pawn, maybe about to be down two. Tim plays this. Now, it looks bad because of that. I get it. But, I do think there is a... There's a world where this pawn can be targeted. Or, for example, this move allows this. 
Is Tim going to stop that? Yes, he does. As soon as this bishop moves, I think this is going to happen. Rook here and that. That's a very common blunder. So we only need time for this. Unfortunately, this move happens first. Knowing Tim, this will be just on the board because it offers a trade. If the guy's like, there we go. If the guy's high energy, he might do this, thinking he's pinning the knight to Tim's rook. Immediately losing the game. This is the most common blunder in chess. But as I said, he predicted that Tim was going to be low energy looking for trades to his detriment. And Tim comes away with 97 check as predicted. Let's go, Tim. Keep this in mind. We need like this move, just like a little low energy side move. There we go. There we go from Big Tim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring that rook back. No messing around. Get that pawn. Tim's got two minutes here. He's up a whole rook clean. And collected Tim Cannon. Good stuff. Get that damn pawn out of there. Tim's looking great. Up a rook. All right, let it be clear. Tim Cannon will not be losing the C4 pawn. If anyone would like to debate that, we'll be setting up a booth outside where Tim Cannon will defend his position. A4 from Tim without, without thought. Oh, finally, the rooks break free. Okay, a check, but the king's gonna go here. Oh, and Tim has it. High energy move from Tim. Immediately threatening me. Oh, can't stop that, baby. Oh! Oh! I called it right here. This was a big moment from Tim. Playing rook e3, I like this move. Black would have probably done better to just take, just because it would offer trades. But instead, he kept the position complicated. That's what you want when you're down material. Black did not take this. Instead, blundered. There we go. Great stuff from Tim. H-E-T for sure. Tim's hopping back in. Hello to Moistud. Simon the Pyman. Tim's not done. He's got another one in him. Oh? Wait. Tim. We got some theory from uh, HET here. I, I'm used to Queen D4 being the move. Why are we not seeing Queen D4 from Tim? Does he need... Uh, a reminder here queen d4 is like absolutely the move you win the pawn but you keep your bishop instead we got this which is good but not that good it is, it is good but could be improved for sure queen h5 
We have to remember, this is Tim we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Big trade guy, Tim. Now, this traps the knight, right? The knight can't move. Tim, I was about to say, is going to play g6. He's going to, because we know Tim. g6 is not a good move. Terrible move. However, does white think, oh, Tim fell right for it. Terrible from both. G6 is so bad. Look at the weak dark squares here. White's going to be all over them in just a sec. But as I was going to point out, this doesn't make a single threat. Because this is impossible. And it can't be possible without that. So there is nothing being threatened here. But Tim, immediate G6. Scared. Of this move. This move happens. Didn't even think twice. Boom. Immediate this move. H3. H5 already does a lot of damage to that pawn. 96. Oh, and I, I'm just scared of the day that this happens. Rook here looking for this. D5. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Very scary. Are we going to see this? This, I mean, this move is troublesome. I like this move. That's the best move Tim has played all game. Very high energy. We don't care about this. Good lord, that's almost goddamn checkmate. Why is Tim not playing B6? For the life of me, I couldn't tell you. Why is this guy playing this? I mean, just things we will never know for 400. Now B6. All right. All right. Okay. Can't say it's the best timing. Takes, takes, takes. And after this, what does Tim have in store? I mean, at this point, you have to take. Now, looks pretty frightening. But I imagine we'll see this. And then king there or something. Most reasonable. Let's see if Tim has an ace up his sleeve. Now, this, we'll probably see that. Instead, we see Rook here. One of the most surprising moves we could ever see. I'm sorry. Am I missing something? These guys have a different understanding. Tim, the type to play this. Okay, the guy saves his bishop, and what did we accomplish there? Nothing. But, you have to remember, Tim has a forced trade on D1. A forced trade, that's pretty much the same as winning material for Tim. Yep, forced trade on D1. Let's get that in. We just won material. Okay, rookie eight, very surprising because, I mean, if this happened, he would have won the bishop. B4, nobody seems to care about this goddamn bishop. I mean, it's disrespectful at this point. Okay, incoming this move, so he goes here now probably. We'll see this, then this. F5 takes takes incoming. Pawn takes h5. Make sure to get rid of those pawns. Well, J-Bell, if we see this move from uh, Tim, I'm calling a win by Knight Fork. I'm not taking the money line. I'm going for the props. Tim uh, by Knight Fork. Cannon by Knight Fork in the fifth round.
Ooh, tricky. So here he wants this maybe. It's not like super dangerous, but it would immediately make it a draw, which makes it enticing for Tim. I like this move though. Keeping my bet alive of cannon by night fork. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh, that Boris set was great. Don't, guys, stay with me here. Cannon by Night Fork. Mm-hmm. Okay, here. King here, and maybe Rook all the way over. But Tim is going to exchange. The rooks if it happens. So we'll probably see this move. Ooh, 81 months from the saint. Tim, maybe we'll play this, but also might activate. I would say... Uh, okay, this is actually okay. White's not interested in playing this, so he goes here, but there is a cultural move here. Which, actually, Tim is pretty much forced to find. Yeah, and he does. And then we'll see this guy venture in and try to hit my bet. Cannon by Night Fork. There's, there's hope here. The Forks are saying hi. Oh, not anymore. Tim is a big trade guy. Forced trade, no? Yep. No, that, that opportunity, and I mean, Tim's trading into a potential loss here. Let's see. Tim with 11 seconds? I mean, why are we spending two seconds on a move? You've only got 10, dude. The dirty flag is so possible here. Let's get some pre-moves, for goodness sake. Holy... Any pre-moves, Tim? Any pre-moves? Rook here. Have to try it. Even if the guy plays this, gotta get your licks in. Tim. Oh, what a loss. What a brutal L. But you honestly have to know yourself. You have to know yourself. If that's a likely way for you to lose, just don't take the bishop. Keep the knight on the board. Knight on the board would provide lots of drawing chances. Or sorry, lots of winning chances. Well, and lots of drawing chances. Like, it's not like leaving white without pawn means you're insta-lost. Not at all. If you're the type to be very slow to get flagged in that endgame, don't put yourself in that endgame. You have to know yourself. Instant next game as well. Uh, Moistad, are we booked on the next five? Tim Cannon still grinding. Tim is not a phone uh, player, Amafel, from what I know. My intel. Tim's not a phone guy. Hello, Chris Herrera. Thanks for the 81 months. The Saint. Longtime supporter. Yeah, ABD exposing Tim. ABD showing the Tim stats. 900 bullet. Yeah, you can't be putting yourself in that situation. Not at 900 bullet. We might see this move. Oh my god. Terrible move. Now, Tim should probably go here, but Tim once again... What? What is with Tim and putting the knight over here? Dude, habits. Oh my god, what a terrible goddamn move. What the flying hell is B3? Oh, sick to my stomach here. Oh yeah, easy, easy play for Tim.
Okay, booked, my stud. Okay. This is a situation here. I don't know why we wouldn't put the knight somewhere that attacks the bishop. Truly, I don't. Um, but, okay. This move is nearly mandatory, but maybe this one. Okay. And after this... I think we're surviving oh that's a big capture tim's a big trade guy you're not yet tim's not missing this one baby let's go let's go tim rookie seven i mean the life of me i couldn't couldn't tell you what that move's all about tim's definitely the type to miss this and go for a queen trade exactly exactly oh and white misses this Tim with zero vision here. Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe queen here. This, this is finally on Tim's radar. 20 goddamn moves down the line. What the hell? Maybe queen here. Queen here, sh surely from Tim. Wow, what the hell? Very high energy move. Is, is Tim saying hello? Or maybe he's just going to send... I don't know. What, what's Tim coming, coming up with? Tim has whirled his oyster here in this position. Literally this, 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 this. Like, you could pr pretty much lay any legal move. <laughs> and it would handle the position. That was impressive from Tim. Bishop h3 and queen there. Very shaky uh, way to get there, but Tim managing just fine. Let's go! That KO came out of absolutely nowhere! Go, Tim! Very nicely done, bud. Oh no, Tim, uh, we already sold tickets for, uh, for four more games. How are you feeling, Tim? Shaking off the rust? The way I see it, we can't possibly end on a loss, no? Can't possibly. We also can't end on a win. Can't possibly. So... There's, there's really only one option. Oh, we're exactly even right now, Moistad. Because after the first five, you were ahead. 3-2 for the pool. And now, evens. So currently even. Daxi Poo, thanks for the five subs. To the Tim Show. Cheers, DaxiPoo71. And Freddy Patzer, cheers for the 39 months. Tim is surely a tempt bra, no? Yeah. Tim saying hello to this move. Understandable. Thank God. Thank God. If we saw this move, it would have been all over. Ain't no way Tim survives this successfully. Okay. We're, we're still feeling... I'm predicting this, 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 this. Lock in. Locking it in. Damn it. At the risk of being correct, I would have lost my bet. You know me. Always want to be correct. Even at the detriment of my own wallet. Bishop d4, a much stronger move. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously. And then this, and then we just need to be careful here. 
Gotta go for this one. But uh, if this happens, it's going to be very difficult to avoid, right? Because if we go here, we're dropping that. So we have to do this. So that's why black is still in this game. Extremely tricky position. Tim going probably here and then allowing this. Let's see. This rook is loose, so we might want to move it. Could also see bishop back, nice solid square. Yeah, I, I really like this move. I think this is a good one. Making a, a threat as well on the pawn. Now offering a queen trade. Classic Tim. Okay, Tim is going to make this move in half a second. Easiest Tim move of his life. Half a second, easiest Tim move of his life. Only half a second, surely going to spend on this move. Easiest Tim move of his life. There we go. Now, you guys might think White's just winning here, but that's not the way I see it at all. I find this position to be legitimately scary. Especially with more pawns checking in here. King here and then f3 seems okay. Bit suspicious, but okay. Yeah, I prefer black's position, Realty. Smoke Gauntus, thanks for the five subs. Quick Cinco. Let's go, Smoke Gauntus. Cheers. I mean, this has to happen, no? What the flying hell is the cannon up to? Good lord, Tim. Huh? You can't can't compute that move. No, you know what? I'm I'm gonna do the thing where you're waiting at the bus stop and then the bus is supposed to arrive and it's just not not arriving. You're looking around the corner waiting for the bus. I'm gonna do the thing where I'm I'm gonna look away, pretend that I'm not cheering for Tim anymore. And we'll we'll see how he does. All right, I'm just showing up to the bus stop for the first time here. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Oh, there's a match on. Well, let's check it out for the first time. How does White's position look? Oh, looks pretty good. Two pieces for the rook. Good stuff. Great. Love it. All right, fantastic. Got a good position here. What a big resub there from the chess kid. Oh my goodness, a hundred months from the chess kid! One hundred! And to celebrate a hundred months, Rook B8, Knight D7 from Tim. Celebrating the chess kid's resub. A hundred months, thank you to the chess kid. We might see this. Oh wow, he, he really wanted to let him know he saw that. <laughs>
Some sort of pawn move here. Uh, rook d4. Okay. So energy generated over here. Rook d4 is an energy generating move. Respectable. Respectable. Tim, big bishop c2 guy. Rook here coming. How is the cannon handling this? Because I think he wants this. But it's hard to set up when there's like literally a pawn uh, about to say hello. So this could happen, but not only does this move exist. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big Tim saying hello? Potentially? Oh, wait. There's a trade available. Losing on the spot, but available. Watch out, folks. Okay, great, great, great decision. I could definitely see this happening with the guy unaware of the danger. I could see this happening for sure. As I said, unaware of the danger and unaware that you're dealing with Tim motherfucking Cannon right here. Get him out! Pre-KO. Get him out. Let's go, Tim. Tucker Tommy, thanks for the nine months. And Batkins, 003. 32 months and a tier three to close out 2023. Shout out to Big Badkins. boy, Tim. boy. Great stuff from Tim. All right, H3 automatic from Tim. Oh, is he a big queen b3 guy? Maybe bishop e2 from let. This one? Oh yeah, sorry, we already had a game like this. I forgot, Tim does this weird setup where he, he puts these pieces here and then forces a trade. Very smart from Tim. Very smart. Yeah. Forcing a trade of the bishops that black wants to trade. Oh my god, what an idea! Actually, an incredible idea from TC. Whoa! Tim's ahead of all of us with the technology. What the hell? Might have to start implementing this into my games, no? Honestly, I, I'm being so serious right now. The opponent is actually so bad that he didn't blunder. It's a strange sentence, but it's entirely true. If the opponent was better, he would have blundered. But he's so bad that he didn't. That's it. That's, that's just the truth. Stronger players would make that blunder. Oh, young Tim. Not venturing into this. However, Tim playing with energy here. Type of guy to just hit him with that. This is available, but I, Tim can hit him and quit him with the H-pawn here. Okay, F3 principled. Principled. Tim doesn't give a flying fuck about this. I love it. Okay, Black's playing this move yesterday. Yeah, this is concerning. It's Tim's worst nightmare, a queen trade. This looks tempting, but unfortunately, you just can't allow that, you know? So let's see. I, I can see him playing this and running into that, definitely. Very, very likely here. Okay, now, takes. Ooh. Ooh. Might be for a little spice from... Wait a minute, what? I've never seen this name in my life. This is a great name. What the hell? His name is Charlos. Charlie and Carlos. What a great name. Charlos. Charlos 77. 
I love it. Big Charlos. By the way, I can still see Tim winning this. Sample variation. Sample variation. Okay, this was not the variation I was thinking of. It's, this is currently not it. Nope. Okay, I was going for a different sample variation. <laughs> it's Tim high energy for this kind of move. Rook A1, I like it. A2. Takes, takes. Oh, boom. Boom. Just hit him with it, Tim. Huzzah! Okay, how to set up... I would say this. I mean, this is a, like, very good-looking move, I understand. But maybe there was some energy here to, you know, make some real scary threats. Now he goes A2. I don't know how Tim is going to uh, create the threats that win the game here. Like, this gets met by that, and then I'm not sure how to proceed. Plus, this gets met by that weird move. Very difficult position for Tim to make progress. However, his opponent is doing some rather strange stuff. We, we like to see this. We like to see this weird energy. Okay, king d1, putting the king on the number one square will, where Tim will blunder on the next move. Perfect. Okay, yep, yeah, uh, uh, there we go. Nice one, Tim. Yep, beautiful bud. Yep, as expected, as expected. Charlos played a pretty good game there, I can't lie. I mean, Tim got got, but, but Charlos, I would say he showed up. Okay, I do think that Tim is kind of at risk against these high energy openings, because Tim's a very low energy player, you know, this type of setup. So as soon as he matches up with someone who hits him with boom, boom, quick long castle and E5, like, Tim's in trouble. Bishop d2, e6, first low energy move from the opponent. I think he would have done better to, to, you know, just keep developing or even hit him with e5. Okay. Bishop here, h5. This move is enough right here to tell me what kind of player we're dealing with. We're dealing with a player who after h3 will not be moving that bishop. That's what that tells me right there. Vlad7883, thanks for the 10 months. Soccerbacks, thanks for the 6 months. And what did I say? <laughs> no point in even playing h3, because my guy is not moving the goddamn bishop. It's clear. You have to expect that. Okay, Tim is at risk here. Tim definitely a knight h4, bra, in order to initiate more trades. They're not happening, though. Yep, as expected. This guy needs to keep the queen on at, by any means necessary, so the only move he's looking at is this one, and he'll play it. Now Tim is faced with a problem, because he wants to have trades, but none of them are any good. So now Tim might even play knight back. Because none of these trades are to Tim's liking. He could even... Oh, what a move by Tim. What a move by Tim. Caught even me off guard. Of course, Tim, queen d3. How could he not? Brilliancy. Another trade. And the guy's anti-trade. Look at this. He's taxing the imports. G6 from BRS Chess. G6. Absolutely nothing going on here between these two queens. 
And the bishop remains hanging in the position. At some point, do you feel like Tim's going to pull the trigger on this? It's exactly what Black wants. So I don't know if it's smart. But Tim, as I said, I think he sees this move and this move next. And he's getting ideas. But no matter what, even if this is good for white, it's what Black wants. Is Tim uh, ready to defend here? Ooh. Bishop here. Just hanging everything. I was maybe thinking of this as a defensive uh, mechanism. I feel like if uh, Tim survives this position, I mean, we're ready to be very impressed. I think this is reasonable. I mean, you cannot do anything to stop this move. Maybe Tim's considering taking and taking this pawn, but I mean, you're just getting killed there. I think this is maybe a good try, but kind of uh, tough regardless. Okay, rook c1. Yeah, that's a great move. Yep. Okay, taking with the bishop for some reason. Oh. No, this game is over in the next four moves for sure. Has to be. Four moves. Gotta be four moves maximum. Wow, the simple c6. My four moves is not going to be correct based on that. Oh, don't even see this. Ooh. Okay, queen g7 is... I'm just going to go with interesting. Hey, knight takes f3. Not a bad move at all. I actually really like it. The, the next thing I need to see to really like things is this one. But Tim's a trade bra, so you always have to give way to moves like that. Or, or moves like that. Force bra. Yep, I think this is, this is the only way. This is so key. This is the most necessary move in the position. For example. Okay. Watch out there, uh, H-E-T. Okay, pawn is hanging. Thirty seconds for trade bra Tim. You're gonna have to risk ten to one odds on that realty. Oh, yeah, this, this might be over uh, quite soon. Oof, very tough defense needed here from Tim because we're going to see this and there is no rook here. That's enough to make a grown man cry. Very tough defense. Probably see this and the house comes down. Yep, as expected. 
There we go. Tim seems to uh, be victim to this opening, the Scandi. It's just like a, a loose opening where the lads get quick development, castled. Oh my goodness, the, the trade energy from Tim is crazy. This is so bad. Bishop b5, immediate take to improve the opponent's bishop. And then castle directly into it. Oh my goodness. Oh. My head hurts. Oh my god. Tim to get mated in the next five moves. Good lord. Tim, use that trade energy, buddy. You have to. There we go. Big move from TC. That was necessary. Without this move, it was made. It was, it was going to be made. AB Shakespeare gifting a tier 3 sub to Samango. Thank you, AB. Trade energy from Tim. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Rook here, baiting a trade. I don't know what... I mean, Tim's getting some... Uh... Some ideas here. Might be on the good stuff. <laughs> so, will we see the king enter the fray? Best thing you can do in an endgame is... What's Tim doing? Literally what? Like, huh? Who are you mating? Literally, what are you doing? Huh? That'd be the dumbest thing I've ever seen Tim do. What? Tim. Buddy, we need uh we need an intervention after this game. We really do. Absolute insanity. What I just witnessed. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is not insane. These two rook lifts. They're not insane. If you defend at least one pawn, defend one time. Like, Tim, what the fuck are you... Like, who... What? The worst game of chess I've ever seen. It's not crazy if you have a queen on the board. If you have a more pieces on the board. But how are you going to do that after you go out of your way to trade every piece on the board? Just so strange. I could not explain it. The game review on that would be too crazy. In fact, I don't even think the game review would pick up on how bad those ideas really were. They were deeply rooted in um, incompetence. Can we fucking talk about Tim and Knight A5? 
What is Knight A5? See it from 10 every goddamn game. What is Knight A5? What? This is like peanut brain type of move. Attacking a bishop like the guy's going to leave it there. The guy moves his bishop and now your knight is trapped, dude. Ah! 44 months from Rob Frank. Thank you to Big Frank. And after this move, Tim's forced to do this. Oof. Oh my. How are we opening the position when we don't have any pieces out? And we have a fucking knight on A5, Tim. Come on, bud. Ridiculous. The hell is F5? It's crazy. Tim consistently does something, and then the next thing he does requires the exact opposite of what he just did. Like, he's not developing pieces, and then he opens the position. I don't get it. Tim's the type of guy to pack away all his winter clothing, all the skis and snowboard equipment, and then book an all-inclusive trip to fucking Switzerland on the Alps and wonder where his fucking winter coat is. Very confused by these decisions from Tim. I got good news for Tim. His worst piece just got removed from the board. Tim's a safety first bra, no? Oh, the Lord has smiled. The Lord has smiled upon Tim today. Smiled upon Tim. Incredible. Just incredible. Tim, as Vince Carter likes to say, you've got one more in you. The ratings are up. That's correct, Realty. The ratings are up. We're not talking about Tim's ratings. We're talking about the ratings of the show, of course. More people are tuning in for the Tim show. Jason Cassidy is here for more Tim content. No, there's no way you are moist. I think you're up one game right now. Yeah, I think you were up two before. Dude, you're feasting on Tim. You were meant to go run errands, but here you are watching Tim. There you go. Tim Cannon and hitting a new peak rating. Tim Cannon and staying in the 1500s. Lots of storylines for this show. Mm, okay, so we do not have the bishop pair. Tim will be playing this. This will happen. Tim will be playing this to protect that. And no, but but really, but really, sh 
surely the brain has been damaged. What? No, but let's be serious for a second. What? It's not possible. How do we decide that this is the that this is the way here? How could this be the case? How could this possibly be the correct answer? Oh. Big defense needed by Tim here. Okay, this one was always going to happen. Yep. Tim's a big trade guy, so maybe this. Okay. Okay, how is Tim going to handle this? Well, sorry. How is he going to handle it now? Of course he's going to trade. Okay, and then he's going to lose a pawn with tempo. Okay, then he's going to lose a rook. Okay, and then he's going to take this pawn, and we wonder why the opponent didn't do that. Opponent's playing this in half a second. Tim responds with this, no doubt. Opponent hits him with. No, Tim, Tim, Tim's not real. Tim's not a real fucking person. He's not a real person for that. That's crazy. You can't tell me there's a human being currently logged into Tim's account. You cannot convince me. Jesus. If anyone has ever wondered what it's like to be a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's this. This is what it's like. Watching Tim play chess. Tim. Knight a6. I mean, I just don't... I, pieces are going to the side of the board. There's just no explanations. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Tim, I, I still respect you enough to assume that this was a mouse slip. So, you even trying to convince me that it was a mouse slip? implies that you believe that you've been playing bad enough that you think it's reasonable that I would assume you're capable of a move like this. So you even bringing up that it's mouse slip is a good indicator of how shit the chess has been. Tim's back in. Tim is back in. He's still above 1,500, and he's back in with a bone to pick. Wait a minute. Matt Sheener, chess bra flair, hang on a sec. Big Matt Sheener. Okay. Okay. Could this be a plant? Matt Sheener here to help Tim road to recovery, bro? Daxipu71 with five more subs. 
Thanks for the new sub, someone rusty. Look at this. He's offering Tim trades. Tim is probably confused. Tim is probably very confused. Like, it's, you're just walking down the street and one of those YouTube, like, you know, uh, motivational video bras comes up to you and they're like, hey man, I, I just, I just want to make your day. I just want to give you this $1,000. And you're like, huh? No, that, no, I don't want it. What, what do you mean? No, no, fuck, fuck, I don't want it. What do you mean? Okay, what's the catch? Tim's confused. He just declined $1,000. That was a fucking trade, Tim. Take the goddamn trade. Jesus. Now we're paying the price here. Trade the goddamn queens. Be true to who you are, Tim. X Mr. Egg. Thank you for the six months. Oh, good lord. I can't look. I can't look. You guys tell me what happened. I'm looking at the chat, not the game. You guys tell me. I'm not looking. I'm looking at the chat only. Just fill me in. Good move. Good move from Tim. Whoa. Great move from Tim. Wait, you guys are fucking trolling me. Terrible move. Forced mate. Oh my. Good lord. Holy shit. Literally forced checkmate. Yes, a trade. Yes. There we go. Back to basics, Tim. That's what we like to see. There we go, folks. There we go. Oh my god. Tim has been playing so bad. I thought Tim resigned. I swear to fuck, I thought Tim resigned. I actually thought Tim resigned. Holy shit. Scared the shit out of me. Oof. Matt Sheener was exactly what Tim needed to bounce back. Exactly what he needed. That's going to propel Tim to a new peak rating. Game aborted. They're starting to fear the cannon. Let's go. There is fear struck into the eyes of the pool right now. Let's go, Tim. Okay, E5. The Brazilians with the good theory here. Fighting the good fight against Tin. Uh-huh. Just that blue. 45 months. Welcome back, buddy. Bishop d7, okay. Calm, cool, collected game. Tim is a trade bra. You know, no issues, no issues. 
trade energy from Tim Shirley. This is Tim's specialty right here. Yeah, big trade guy, Tim. Now, we are going to have to deal with this, which, you know, why, but still okay. Not a big concern yet. I said yet. We're going to need to have this from black. Gonna need to have it. Gotta have it. Okay, good move, unfortunately. Tim looking for trades. Love to see that. Nice. Okay, rook here, automatic. Okay, Tim Bishop C3 guy. Oh, no, Tim B4 guy. Interesting. Can I entrust you in a trade, good sir? Immediate. Immediate A5, yes. Now, we might see this. I think it would be nice to start with this, because in general, you want to kind of protect that with the pawn. Oh my god. Smiling upon us. Smiling upon us again. Tim, the winning ways are here. This is a sign. This is a sign. Tim's back in the W column. Let's go, Tim. Soon, 10 subs for the Tim show. Let's go. We're taking down Moistad. The energy is very high right now. Energy up for another Tim win. Let's go. 10 subs from Suin. Now, for those that don't know, Tim is the best Evans Gambit player in his postal code. So, obviously, playing the Evans against Tim is recipe for disaster. Oh, name a more iconic duo. Tim and the Rim. Oh, wait. Big Night A5 guy. Oh, real tea. We're gonna gonna break from this great set and bring on it, Surely this will energize Tim. Surely. Tim just needs to feel the vibrations. Feel the vibrations. The feel the rhythm, if you will. Does anyone know what this is? Does anybody know what this is?
Who knows what this is? Wild Hacks knows what this is. Airbus Driver knows what this is. What is this? Tim knows what this is. Come on, Tim. Not quite Caballo. Not quite Tien Khan. Tommy knows what this is. We'll give it to him. This is a tribal rhythm. Let's go, Tim. This is a tribal rhythm. White has a hard time developing that night, folks. This is a tribal rhythm. Oh. And after we castle, force queen trade for Tim. Oh my god, it's practically game over. Made in two threatened here. Great move by black. Sorry, great move by white. Actually, they're trading good moves. Rook a6 was great. Queen c8 was great. Rook a7 was great. Oh, Lee, the guys are playing well here. Great fight from the white pieces here. This is, this is, this is, this is a win for Tim. A win for Tim. A win for Tim. Oh my god. Who the hell is this guy? He's slicing and dicing. What the hell are these moves? Tell him to calm down. Tim is in a tribal rhythm right now. This is a very good move by Tim. Now he won't get mated. The bishop can only jump one pawn, so uh, great, great move by Tim. Now, the only reason we might have a very good chance here is the back rank, baby. Don't count out the back rank. Tim, by back rank, pays plus 540. Tim, by back rank. Very likely outcome here. Very likely. Hardly an underdog. Big, big move from Tim incoming. Big Tim move.
Oh, great song from yesterday as well. Okay, here. And then here. We ain't scared of nothing. Hit him with it, Tim. Oh, he, he didn't want the bet to hit. Low energy. Come on, Tim. Get the hell out of there, bud. What are we waiting for, dude? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Absolutely needed. Unfortunately spotted. Queen trade from Tim. Massive. Best move? No. Expected move? Yes. That's our boy, Tim. Tim wants this, but you can't quite do it, Tim. Not yet, not yet. Hold, hold, set it up, Tim. Rook A7. Just, we need a big blunder like that. Oh, trade, trade to Tim, immediate. What are we waiting for? Let's go, Tim. Big trade from Tim. Big trade from the cannon. Let's go. Let's go, Tim. Activate, activate. Oh, trick, bro. Almost. That's okay. Good try. Okay. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Let's. Yep. Yeah, bishop here. Yep. Yeah, we put all the pieces on the fucking side of the board. Back down. To Finally, some speed. That was a pre move. Documented one pre move. Okay. Oh, Tim's going for mate. I love the energy. Get, it. Get the fuck out of there. Tim's got energy here. There is a mating pattern, folks. One. Tim, hit him with it. Tim! Forced fucking mate, Tim. So close. So close from 10. It's because the song ended, eh? Tribal rhythm. Tim was playing in a tribal rhythm. We have to give him that. Oh, this is the other one. Save this one as well. Yeah, 928, thanks for gifting us up to Mr. Monopoly. Tim going for the comeback here. The cannon is loaded. Energy? Or energy. Or energy. Energy? Energy? Energy. Energy! Tim, big bishop pair guy. Big bishop pair guy, Tim.
Airbus driver with a song. Uh, unfortunately, Airbus driver, I'll only be able to play 99% of this song. Thank you for the contribution, sir. Adding to the queue. Canadian rock fan, 39 months. Thank you to Canadian rock fan. Knight takes E4 played. Holy. Played with confidence. Rookie one. Energy from Tim. Takes a knight back is probably going to happen. Yeah. I don't know about this. Yes, J Bell. Queen takes F7 almost works. You're right. It only fails to two moves. Very close to working. Nearly there. Okay, needed. Big like that like just required. Tim the type to play it after this move. Please no. Please no. Oh, 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 oh. Tim is literally like hovering. Hovering, beads of sweat. He's waiting for it. This song is for Tim. Quantity sufficient. Thank you for the $25 for Tim Cannon. Good stuff by Tim. We need this. What the hell is that guy doing? Absolutely nothing. Need it. Okay, full respect to this move. Me has 613 this with 37 months. Big 25 from Quantity Sufficient. Big song here from Airbus Driver. Send it. Watch out for this because Buddy is going to hunt you here. I can guarantee it. He's looking to say hello. Going to need some big like activation and going to have to deal with this. Going to be a tough road ahead for Tim. Tough road. We have to understand one major concept. That this can be dealt with but how? How can we deal with this? There's one big idea here. Yeah, you got, you got the idea. You got the idea. I would say this is always an option. But that's elite. Elite. Elite from the cannon. He's, oh my god, he's down two minutes. But at least he found this move. I'm not really sure what we're doing if things get traded. But this is a big time move from the cannon. Yes, we allow this, but no more. That's it. One check. I don't even know what to do next. I mean, his bishop has done nothing all game. Absolutely nothing. Whoa. Okay. Fuck it, we ball.
I think he's trying to send this. Yeah, makes sense. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right. Now, remember, this is loose here. So, yes, he can have that. But maybe he'll go here. We can snap, grab, and pop. Energetic move. I wouldn't hate that. Swing time, you know, I can't hate on that move. At least it's something. But the story of this game is this guy right here doing absolutely zero. Tim has played this game down a full rook. Mandatory. Tim taking so much time that the opponent might forget about this and continue incorrectly here. Kind of brilliant by Tim, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, genius, bro. Took so long on the move. The opponent actually is probably a little hazy right now. Probably going to hit him with this, you know? Doesn't remember. He could also hit him with this, another terrible move. Kind of big brain from Tim, I'm not going to lie. I can see this happening, low key. Oh, panic setting in. 20 seconds taking for El Hajj. Oh my god, what a win from Tim! Absolutely incredible! Holy! How did we get that win? The mouse slip pays itself back. It pays itself back. Remember, Tim had a mouse slip. Finally, it gets paid back with interest. Great stuff from Tim, keeping that stick on the ice, firmly planted. Great stuff from Tim. Amazing. Daxi Poo's in for five more subs supporting Tim. This is for you, Airbus driver. For you, my friend, my dear friend, Air Airbus. Oh, you hear that moan? That was Tim after Queen G7. Good stuff, Daxi Poo 71. Oh man. Tim, I'm listening to your analysis and I can validate it. In this position, you need to hover most likely king here to anticipate the possible check. Otherwise, you'd be hovering and then letting go of the piece and immediately going for that. 
So, uh, yeah, the, the scans have come back, and Tim is a goddamn genius. Airbus driver with another song to the queue. All right, ABD, fine. He wants to go back to techno. Real T says, keep the show on the road, but remember you're getting lapped in messages. Uh, Real T, we will be issuing Tim some uh, chat preferred shares worth up to 10,000 messages if he's able to keep the performance up. Thank you to Airbus Driver for the next song. Diamond Snake, 11 months. How are you feeling, Tim? Where are we? 1527. I mean, Tim's been working. The rest of you have been spectating. The Cannon had some tough moments, but he's back in there. This was a big comeback. Up rating. I believe it. We have to take that. Not sure where we started, but somewhere around here, I feel. Tim's been playing nonstop for how long? It must be a couple hours now. No, Tim doesn't have time to go over the games, and that would be that wouldn't be the way I would want Tim to approach this challenge. We can't have him learning anything, reviewing anything. No. It's all about the complete randomness of the pool. Tim just put in a shift. A shift that I uh, can't say can't say everyone else would be able to match. And what a way to end. Queen G7 mate. It's not easy playing on stream. Moves getting scrutinized. Not easy at all. GG's to TC. Oh, two noticeable absences. Lethbridge Chess and Tim Cannon both have to leave. Understandable. They're likely going to the same place. Oh, Tim's not leaving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not leaving, just tapping. Yeah, exactly. Not leaving, just tapping. Well, nevertheless, Tim, I'd say the show had great ratings today. Not you, the show. Definitely sold some tickets. It was a very well-attended show. Hello to Airbus Driver. Putting on uh, his own soundtrack. Being his own cheerleader. Yeah, let's make sure to note those numbers down, ABD. 3,500 for the Tim show. Concessions could be better. Really, Ezra's monkey. I don't know how we could possibly offer better concession value. I saw Tim conceding the advantage about four or five times a game. But let me know how we could improve in that area and uh, we'll make sure to 
Talk about that. Discuss internally. Sonic Fox, thank you for the 16-month reset. Thank you, Sonic. Tim, always impressed by the show. Uh, Tim's ending at 1527. Current peak 1559, but we still have uh, you know a couple days in 2023, so all is still possible. Well played to Tim. Now to double check. Yep, just a quick quick check here. Oh, did I just hear, did I just hear Tim? What did I just hear? I, I hear something in the background. Tim, no? Why am I getting these difficult ones? Uh, here, here. What the hell? Oh, I thought he was going to lay bishop here. Why would he lose the rook instead of the knight? Also, what am I listening to? Is that Tim? Tim's active again. Tim is active again. We'll give Tim a break. I knew I heard something in the back. We'll give Tim a break. We'll have to generate more ticket sales. No, we can only uh, we can only bring the show back with more sales. Tim thought he could hide. Forgot we had him on uh, spectate there. Okay. What is this? Okay. Must be, must be. Ooh, nice tactic there. Oof. Uh Wow Oh, I don't know why you went there
I couldn't. I had a good comeback at the end. Oof. Good comeback at the end. Nearly. Nearly. I was sniffing it. Sniffing the 50. Ugh. Surely a, a 50 would inspire ticket sales to the Tim show. Is that confirmed, Lolly? Lolly, we need uh, links or ban. Can't be uh, reporting information like that with no source. No fun purposes. We don't do fun purposes here. Oh, H5, Rook, H8. Jeez, I, that was a very fair one. Legitimate incorrect. Castle, no? Oh, we can't castle. <laughs> Surely. Damn it. Rook D6 first. Got ahead of ourselves.
Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Disturbing. Such an easy one. What the hell? Such an easy one. This one I got wrong. I mean, I basically had the answer, just had to move my king. But I wasn't thinking. I, was just, I saw the time, saw how close we were. And all that other one was that took so much of our time was bishop d5. Really weird puzzle. Unlucky timing on that one. Oh, man. But it, we have the, the sauce. It's there. Just need to put it all together. Uh, what? Huh? Jesus, what a weird one. What the hell? <laughs> Just, that is another crazy one. Oh my god, it's check. Dude, it's been so long, it was checked all the time. Oh my god, the queen is there. Oh man, there was one earlier, I couldn't remember what it was, but it just took so much of my time. I had some very, very tough problems there. Can't even complain about that score. Some like multi-move problems. A lot of moves. Too many if you ask me.
Very weird puzzle. Man. Really uh, putting up some points. Never enough, but putting up some points. Yep. No, you're absolutely right, Realty. We just need the luck. The focus is there. The intensity is there. Yeah, I'm getting like 12 move puzzles on uh, the first couple here. Does this matter? This is annoying. Oh. What are these puzzles? Wow, you should A4. That was quite tough. Uh... 
Oh my goodness. Always right at like 46, 47, 48. Crazy. I can't possibly stop. Not yet. I'm the same amount. I miss it by the same amount every time. What's happening here? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I thought we were going the other way. Oh. In G7, I guess. I'm not sure what to say. Pretty much every attempt has been very good, but just never good enough. Maybe I'm just uh, incapable of the 50. Ever evasive. Oof. Does this really need a move? Really? Ooh. 
Oof. Here, queen f3. You just have to make a draw here, or what? Draws are always the worst. They never feel like you've made the right decision. And they eat up a lot of time. Like this, I mean, I have no idea. Like, just crazy. These uh, the puzzles, the difficulty. So crazy at the end. I've been fed some tough ones. Every run has been good, truly. Blame the puzzles. What? Huh? <laughs> These ones are crazy. No easy ones for the boys. That's kind of a cool checkmate. Don't have enough time. Don't have enough time. You can just tell I'm not on the like 50 pace, but it's crazy. We have like these flawless runs up to like 40. Really feels like I have a chance, but. I need to be on some, like, Olympian pace.
What? Oof. Got an early one wrong there. But still, I mean, that was like... 40 with, uh, with some time. I think I was moving the the king to the beat there. Come on. Really? Really? Dude. Dude. It's crazy. How? I get the same score every time. Just 50 is just not in the cards ever. Just can't happen. I don't know how. Yeah, maybe you just get them correct. Realty, get them correct at a faster pace. The best advice that I can really give is to play the moves that make the most sense without calculating for the first 40. For the first 40? Buddy, that's my whole run. <laughs> Actually, for, for your entire puzzle rush, just make the moves that make the most sense. So you're saying 40 plus. If I, if I don't have like a minute or something, then don't even bother. What do I need to have at 40? Let's, let's get the timestamps ironed down. How much time needs to be left at 40? One minute at least. Anything less than a minute? Next. A minute 30. You guys are fucking crazy.
I'm going to play the moves that make the most sense for the first 40. And I'm probably going to get 27. Let's see. Which way are the fucking pieces going here? Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Impossible, bro. <laughs> well, what do you know? We ended up at the same score. <laughs> Crazy. 46, like, every single time. 46, 46, 46, 46. <laughs> I definitely spent, like, 20 seconds on a puzzle, think or multiple, thinking the pawns were going the other way. Like it, just, it just didn't make sense that they were... Unreal. Actually, first instinct, bro. I re it's a good thing I'm double checking these first instincts because they're all wrong.
Not a clue. My first instinct is definitely not correct. I thought that was a pretty good move. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got to got to go back to the uh got to back to the try to test it. First instincts definitely not helping. You forget Rui that uh my first instincts are always wrong. The only reason I'm getting these correct is cuz I'm like stopping and and being like, "Oh, let's check a different instinct." What's happening here? Uh... Crazy. It's like a try not to score 46 challenge. Every single time. <laughs> 46. I don't know. I don't know how. 45, 46, 47, 48, even a 49. How to improve. I'm a well-oiled machine. Well-oiled machine. Everything optimized for a 46 performance.
Yeah, 928 with $46. Yeah, 928, I don't think I'll, I'll never get a 50 out of you. But I'll take the $46. Thank you, Jason. Keep messing up that tactic. Rook A5. Oof, but I don't think I would have had time for the 50. I mess up this tactic a lot. I've actually noticed it. This is the main one I mess up. Rook here, and the answer being Rook there and Rook here. Probably messed it up like five or six times this this uh session uh the last one rook a5 so bad
Oh no, I need to move here? What? That's crazy. How could it possibly require a move here? <laughs> Unreal. Liquorette, thanks for the uh, six months. Welcome back, dude. Six month reset, but also six months in advance. I appreciate that. Jesus. Oh, then that's easy, Rui. If I'm speeding up when I have 30 seconds left, I should just pretend I have 30 seconds at all times. Wow, it's covered.
It's it's always the same. Every run. They're so identical. I don't know how. Pair of rookies. Thanks for the seven month reset. Yeah, 45 instead of 46. I think I'm losing my touch. Thanks, Kefren. I'm losing my touch here. Big choke. I thought it was takes and then bishop c1. What? Robbed. Robbed. <laughs> Crazy. This one was so annoying. How is it not this? What? So frustrating. This one was so tilting. Queen takes? Takes, takes, and then bishop c1? Oh, he plays a4. Damn, I thought bishop c1 was the key. But then, so why does this work? Because here, I guess we move our queen and play this? Fuck no. So it was this idea, but I needed to have the mate threat as well. Ugh. Killed. Killed. This one I actually had no clue about. This is not good. Bishop takes and trap the queen now, but... This one was correct, but probably it was king e1. Oh my god, never mind. I had the wrong idea. I thought this was mate. Like, I didn't notice that, so. It got me on that one the way you're supposed to get got on that one. <laughs> Unreal.
Big, big, right there, right there, big, perfect run too, no mistakes, got that bishop d1 in with like half a second, literally half a second, for sure, oof, had to do it before the end of the year. Very, very close. <laughs> Honestly, if the last one made me do like bishop b3, I think it ended here. If it made me do bishop b3, it would have been so close. Yes, number one today, number one this week, number one all time, just number one. Airbus, we'll take that. I mean, I had to keep going today. Every single run was like above 45. Very overall average, high average today. It's not going to get much better than that. Yep. Nice quick, uh, quick peek there. Yep. Best, uh, best three minute 50. There we go. You know, I didn't have a peak. I didn't have any peak to speak of. So I had to get something notched for 2023. Something. I had to make a claim. Would I attribute my success to the 2023 fan zone? Uh, perhaps by extension, the fan zone, but really the fan zone attendees, meaning the people that attended. The people that didn't, I consider them to be hostile towards my goal of 50 in three minute puzzle rush. All those that attended, I consider them aid to my success. But those that did not attend, I consider actively protesting against 50. We'll take it. 
Now we can retire, retire the old puzzle rush. Ezra's monkey, thanks for the 500 bits. Cheers, Ezra. Midnight, 200 bits. Jason, I, I said I wasn't going to get a 50 out of you. We got a 50 out of ya, 928. $50, 50 in three minutes. Thank you, Jason. Doc 8 Ball, thank you for the 32 months and a tier three. Happy holidays, buddy. Enjoy. That sounds like a great trip. Oof. We'll take it. That was a, a grind today. Out of curiosity, does anyone know what my... Um, does anyone know what my splits were? Like, did I have the 40 at one minute? Because I feel like probably not. I feel like I, I, I got much quicker at the end. It did not feel like it was going to be the run. Sometimes you feel like it's going to be the run. Like you check and like you have a minute and 20 seconds at 40. And you're like, oh, maybe this is the run. At no point did this feel like the run. You definitely sprint at the finish. Okay, damn. Oof. Tim? Would you say that this is a cause for celebration? Are we able to implement the tin marbles? It's up to Tim. Surely, from Tim. Is Tim still going? No, wait, was Tim still going the whole time? The Tim show? <laughs> Was Tim still uh, trucking out there? Tim at fifteen twenty-five. Okay, absolutely. Right where we left him. Go, Tim. All right, I think it's time. Tim said marbles when we have a reason to celebrate. I think this counts, Tim. It is time. We got our 50. I claimed a, a new peak in 2023. It's not going to get much better than that for me. You know, maybe it was the Red Bull. Might be able to attribute that success to the Red Bull. The summer edition. <laughs> Big summer edition switch. All right. It is time for marbles. Exclamation mark play. Exclamation mark play to get in. Keep in mind, you may be banned until next year at this rate. Careful. 
Big bands on the line. All right, guys, exclamation mark play to join. Let's get a nice big race here. There's still about 50, 60 more spots. Everyone can join. Doesn't matter if you're a sub. I'm going to take a short break. I need one after all that puzzle rushing. But we got our 50. Feeling good. Now time to do some marbles to celebrate. Big shout out to Tim for the whole show earlier. Not easy to play chess on stream. You guys are all laughing from the sidelines, but I'll tell you, it ain't easy what Tim was doing. Guy played nonstop for like two hours and came in with some energy for marbles. And thanks a lot to Jason for supporting the puzzle rush. I'll be back in a few minutes. Exclamation mark play.
All right. Any last minute joiners? Any last minute exclamation mark players? Thank you, Shay. Very nice, very nice. We got our uh, our 50 out of the way for 2023. I've officially peaked. All right, I'm going to start here. 15 seconds. You don't know the rules? Perfect. Exclamation mark play is all you need to do. I'll take care of the rest. I'll just do the money line moist. reason why I just said... Uh, Fade is because you didn't say the spread, so I'm just taking the opposite of what you said. So I thought you wanted the money line. All right, good luck. First race. Let's get it. Here we go, folks. In for our first marbles race of the day. Homer, near the front along... Oh, you don't want to see Q-Core near the front. Uh-oh. Sad Rabbit. Homer. Choose Chu. Jet, get this Chala. And Will's Utility. Along with Moistad, Okonom at the back. But remember, got a lot of spinning to do there. Let's see. At the front is Omer. Along with A.A. A. Funk. Chef Long Pep. Tommy Fook and Shelby there as well. Yep. Tommy Fook and Shelby. Great drop from Shelby. Penny as well. Oh, terrible though. Whoa. Oh, he snuck around. But still, Tommy in great position. Tommy Shelby, folks. Get this Chala. Data side guy, Chef Long Pep. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way for that lad. Data side guy in front seems to be his race, but Omer with some speed. Omer on the outside. Oh, just missed him. Oh, my goodness. Almost a comeback for Omer there. But Data side guy, clear first. And, well, Midnight is way too far. I don't know how he got stuck there. Jason Cassidy at the back. DNF line is coming. Still a long way to go for those marbles at the back there. Jason Cassidy surely about to DNF. He's going real slow. I think it's the guys right in the middle that have to watch out. Right around here. Because that DNF line is coming. Gushy Fish. Nat John W. Will's Utility currently at the back. Miha. I think Will finish the race. Yes. Bobert. Real Team Money. Oh, Real Team Money. I believe DNF'd. Yes. Learner will not finish. We actually do not know who is in last place right now. A lot of last-second DNFs there. Quite impressive by a few veteran marblers. Data Psy Guy. Clear first. No debate. Data Psy Guy won. Ban or no ban. As we scroll down to learn... 
Who's at risk? Understandably, Tim Cannon with a very nice finish. Big 69th place from TC. Nice, Tim. And last place is, after review, Dark Bone. That's right. Big Dark Bone. Data Sci Guy, after learning this information, says Ban. Once he confirmed that it was Dark Bone in last place, he immediately says Ban. Right after he learned that Dark Bone, our tier three, was in last place. Understood, understood. Darkbone with a big tier three look at him in the face and data side guy says you know what ban immediate ban and Darkbone would like to lay down his his immunity but hang on laying down the immunity cheapens immunity worldwide a high council of tier threes are currently congregating to discuss their feelings about Darkbone laying down the shield. How does the upper class feel about Darkbone deciding not to use his privilege? Luca Crafter, approve. Jason Cassidy, permitted. Ubitsia says ban Dark Bone. Johnny DJ simply wants chaos by the sounds of it. Airbus driver says that it's permitted, but Data Sci Guy must also be banned. The match will decide if Darkbone is also banned. This makes sense. This does make sense. High energy is being displayed by Darkbone. He wants to prove his worth in the channel. However, we are still ensuring that Data Sci Guy gets banned. In fact, Data Sci Guy knows he's getting banned. It's simply whether or not he can grab on to Dark Bone's leg and drag him off the cliff with him. Darkbone and Data Sci Guy. Chess.com usernames in the chat. Darkbone says, Why is he getting banned? However, the only situation where it would be strange that he got banned is if he won against Darkbone. So Darkbone seems to be confused about a situation that he shouldn't even be worried about if his intention is to win. Very interesting.
Dark Bone against Data Psy Guy. Patty Batty. All right. Chess.com slash play slash online. Sir Michael J. Hawk is here. Eight months with Prime. Make sure you're logged on there, data side guy. I'm going to refresh as well. Here we go. Oh, big matchup here. Patty Batty. Homer is rooting for Patty Batty. Yep, state your allegiances now. Patty Batty with a best of 2007. Probably means it was when he created his account, no? Yep, account created September 19th, 2021. Highest rating, September 19th, 2021. His opponent probably stalemated him or something. And he went from 2000 to 2007. Understandable. Perfectly logical. You start with 2K now. But hang on a sec. Okay, wait a minute. I've got a question. So, when you guys created your account, was there a thing that said, like, what's your level in chess? Didn't it pop up and say, like, are you, like, a beginner, or advanced, expert? You know what I mean? Did, didn't that pop up? It did, right? What did you answer? I'm sure you all were relatively truthful, but I have to remind you that if you're just not truthful, your rating starts higher. That's how it works. If you just say that you're advanced, it'll start you at a higher rating. That's it. <laughs> it's that simple. So we got this guy, who might have been brand new to chess, started and said he was expert level. They were like, all right, start him at 2,000. Drew his first game, they were like, yep, yeah, no, this guy's placed in the right category. <laughs> yeah, dark bone with some energy here. Closing the position energy. I can see a uh, big patty holding this. That's right, Tim. This move would really cause some problems.
Hey, he's giving up material, but this knight does have an outlet. We'll see what he wants to do. He does go there. I don't feel like this is really on the radar. I think he's just only kind of looking here, and I, I don't blame him. It's that speed that's needed. He does not need to find anything. Like, he doesn't need to find a move here. He really just needs speed. Both guys do, in fact. Oh, Darkbone is recognizing speed, though. Ooh, I don't know about this one. It's not a bad move, but kind of opens up some squares there. Really amazing play from Patty. He's up on time currently. There's a quick move. Knight G4, there's a good one as well. Oh my goodness! What an insane blunder! He hung his whole queen! Patty Batty is currently playing for the win. Oh my goodness, he might flag. Oh my god. Oh no. That's crazy. What a insane finish. How the hell did Dark Bone win that? Unbelievable! What the flying hell was that game? Made in one at the very end. Data Sci Guy comes back in chat and says, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Jesus. This was a, an 1100 against a 2000. 1100 against a 2000. Just incredible. And you definitely have to be impressed that Darkbone pulled off this flag. Queen and Rook. Literally only has a dark squared bishop. Almost half the time. This is a choke from Patty. Oh my goodness. This is just incredible. No, there will not be another game. There will not be another game. Let's find some usernames here. Yeah. Oh, this game is definitely being admitted into evidence. Data Sci Guy. Will be sentenced. He will be unbanned just about as quickly as the legal system will allow it. Data side guy, I am recommending minimum sentencing for you. A slap on the wrist due to the performance that we just witnessed. There will be no ban on dark bone because we have to abide by the most important rule that a win is a win around here. A dub is a dub is a dub. Minimum sentencing for data side guy. But he is banned and he is out of here. See you later, data side guy.
All right, Data Sci Guy has been unbanned after serving the minimum sentencing. Welcome back, Data Sci Guy. All right, let's get into the next race. Welcome back, Data Sci Guy. I hope you uh, thought things through, reflected. Thought about your decisions and where they got you in life. Minimum sentencing was recommended and upheld. Exclamation mark play to get in here. He's back already, folks. Minimum sentencing. Hopefully he's back in this race as well. Dark Bones back in the race. Raheem's in here with a gifted sub. Thank you, Raheem3000. Exclamation mark play. Get in here. Man, Raheem is just sniping here. Got another one. That's a long time viewer there. Slice serve. Thank you to Raheem. You caught him with his pants down, Raheem. That's a uh, near four year sub you just got. Big energy from Big Raheem. All right, we're going to start this thing. Last chance to get in. Jason Cassidy making sure Raheem's not a... Not a pleb anymore. Thank you, Jake Cass. Daddy Commissary. There we go. A thousand bits to Sad Rabbit 4. Sad Rabbit, thanks a lot, bud. Or a thousand bits to uh, Patty Batty, rather. Thank you, Sad Rabbit. Commissary granted. All right, we're starting this race. Definitely a great game there from the Batty. Who doesn't love a Batty? Oh, some uh, early, uh, early energy, unrewarded. Jason Cassidy, great speed. Tim Cannon following suit. Tommy, nice try, bud. Ezra's monkey. Oh, Tim with, I think Tim just leapfrogged everything, along with Joe the Stoic. Remember, you don't want to be too quick. You want to be roughly second or third place. Oh, Boner pulls off. Tim and Joe the Stoic leading. A lot of people falling off here. Marbles off the left and right side. At the back. Smokeahontas. And where's my mate? But they don't appear to be moving. So it might be more like Caballo Loco and Realty Money. At the front, meanwhile, Joe the Stoic. Be careful. You don't want to go too quick here, Joe. Joe's got the hang of it. LE2000 might have this race. Barring a choke at the end. And oh, that is a choke. LE2000. 
What a mistake. And Jason Cassidy. Does he have it? Yes. First place for Jay Cass. Okay. Those ones are DNFing. So it's all come down to this. It looks like Durkie, Unhappy Defender, and Seabra Thrust have the most to lose here. That DNF line is not taking anybody. Unhappy Defender and Durkie. Last two. He's in. And he's in as well. Unhappy Defender is going to have to unhappily defend himself against Jason Cassidy. Jason Cassidy pre-moving the ban and pre-moving the username. As we scroll down. We do not have a 69th place. We do have a last place. And that's Unhappy Defender. You've been banned, Unhappy Defender. Would you like to defend yourself? In the chess arena. Now he might he might do so reluctantly. We don't know when he typed it, Tim. It could have been near the end of the race, you know. Maybe he did it as a last minute. Resort. Unhappy Defender. I'll need your chess.com username and I'll need you to log into chess.com slash play slash online. Where Jake Cass will be waiting for you. Unhappy Defender, I got gotcha. you. Wait for you and Jay Cass to get logged in. Jay Cass against Unhappy Defender. I think we got uh, an unhappy attacker right now in Zebra Jay Cass. He's going to have to pull the same type of upset a little bit more. That we just witnessed. That that's the type of move that you needed to play there as black. I mean, I can't I can't hate on Bishop F five, but. Maybe this one? You can see that happening. Ouch. All right, Jcast has opposite color bishops. That's the main claim to fame right now. Or this, or this, just, I think as long as we stop this, we're, we're doing all right. This move is big. If black achieves this, the game will be over very quickly, in my opinion. Even this is acceptable. Yeah, this one, I believe this can happen. I'm not sure. It's still a little tricky. It is pinned, so be careful. But opposite bishops do provide good fighting chances for uh, Jay Cass here.
I don't hate on this. Maybe he'll do this. Yeah, I could see this happening. This, and then take with that loose at the end. Very possible here. Because he doesn't really want to do this. Great energy from Jake Cass. This is a serious move. Yep. I can see it. <coughs> Not a bad move either, honestly. But um, definitely this was the way to go. Up some time as well. Just great pressure. Unfortunately for him, he really missed a great opportunity there with taking, where if everybody took back, then queen takes here, and, and white might be doing actually quite fine. Uh, okay, now we're starting to you know, take, the, take the wrong path. Tough, though. Jcast needs to produce uh, some, some real ideas here. And I'm not sure he's going to be able to. Maybe this to lift the... Yeah, it's, it's very tough, though. This is loose. Squares are all covered here. Yeah, he decides to go for it now. And I do see what he's thinking about, but this one always has a check to the miserable king. Yeah, it was a good try. It was a good try. Okay, I don't know. I guess get down here with the, uh, the queen. It's, it's probably the best attempt you could make. You know, just be as annoying as possible. This one is good, but I do think this one is more annoying. Because then you actually have some ideas. And never, ever do you want to do that. So, Okay, it does go here now. I think this is an attempt. Okay, he goes back here. I see what he's up to, though. He wants to eyeball that pawn. You can never trade. Really not bad uh, struggling here from Jcast. Not bad at all. That's tough to, to, to see. Not only is this good, but that's loose. Ouch. 2100 locates the mate, and that's all she wrote there. Austrian power, dark bone, an unhappy defender getting it done. How about these 1100s today? God damn, they're putting up a real fight. GG, Jcast, a valiant attempt, but ultimately the 2150 was too much for the 1100. Two clean games from two strong Austrians. And again, we receive no ban. What's going on, guys? Performance anxiety? You guys better step it up here. Tim, this is no way for the people to act towards your marbles. This reflects on you as well, Tim. The most that we have gotten today in terms of action was a minimum sentencing. Java, it's been, it's been a couple now. We got a minimum sentencing and that's it.
No, Java, because prosecution ban rule is if the prosecution fails to get a ban being higher rated. But right now, the prosecution has been significantly lower rated every time. Exclamation mark play. Last chance. We might need uh, a ban here, Tim. This is... This is getting to the point where it's almost unacceptable. Darren Hodge, thanks for the new sub, bud. We might be able to fill up this entire race. I think we will. Only 15 more people. Let's do it. 10 more spots. Last five. Spots are going quick. Less than five remaining. Exclamation mark play. We're about to start. Eli the Ninja. Welcome, welcome. And we are officially full. There we go. 150 are in. Money Bert, great start. Oh, yeah, Money Bert. Looking great, Bod. Money Bert leading the charge there. Ted McForehead, Choose Shoes Well, Badkins with a great start. And let's see who is clearly at the back. Doc 8 Ball, Fish, Zinc Xanther, Left Hand Man, and Baraka. Oh. Where the hell? Where the hell are these guys going? Jesus himself. You don't have to sacrifice yourself like that, dude. Gory also at risk. Let's see here. Whoa, Basmaniac. 20 subs from Basmaniac, 1966. As Mr. Ted, Juice Chew, Old Milwaukee, and Badkins are at the front. A strong sub contingent. Thank you very much to Baz Maniac. Everyone seems to be hitting this side. Yeah, I don't see how anyone <laughs> goes to the other side. Badkins in front. Is this Badkins race, folks? It all comes down to this drop. He is in front, but it needs to be perfect. Yes? And it's not Badkins race. It's all caps. Big choke from Badkins at the finish. Doc 8 ball. Well, hang on. Unhappy defender also at the back, but if I remember these races properly... The DNF line starts to eat a few people. Gory hole. Doc 8 ball. All caps is on record. Pre-moving the ban. But he's cancelled the pre-move and is now hovering the ban. Hovering the ban. He is officially hovering the ban. Airbus driver Gory getting down there. But here come the DNFs. Careful, folks. Balloony is in. Airbus driver at risk. Wait, Data Psy Guy might be the last one. It could be Data Psy Guy. Hold on just a second, folks. Very close at the finish. 
All caps in front. He's hovering the ban. Hovering. All caps. Would you like to let that hover go? It had to be Big Raheem. It had to be. Of course. Raheem. Gifted sub energy. Well done, bud. Well done. Can only clap it up for you, my man. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Right at the end. It was between two people. Look at the difference. Data Psy guy, 252.198. And Omer, 252.242. It's Omer in last place. And to celebrate 69th position, Raheem gifts us up to Silicone Boobs. Omer is ready to defend. But hang on a sec. A ban. Yep. A ban. No and ban. Separate messages. Luckily, uh, the English language is on his side here. He's going for the ban. And Omer4406 is ready to defend. Oh, Omer. All right, chess.com slash play slash online for you too. Ice Flake against Omer. Here we go. And holy shit. Well, best of luck to Big Omer. That's all I got to say. Very surprising not to see that move. This move kind of wins on the spot. So, an 800 has to survive against a 2265. Jesus, good luck. Yeah, it's not looking good for him there, uh, Java Bandit. Tim Cannon, just like to point out, sneaking. Bits of support in here and there. Tim, you're not sneaking those kicks ups by us. How long did you get away with that? Kick subs from Tim. Thank you to Tim Cannon25 in what looks like 20 kick subs. When was that? Before the Dark Bone game. Tim, are you happy you didn't get involved in that? We damn near saw the unthinkable. <laughs> Might have been better on the sidelines there in retrospect. <laughs> oh, for more marbles. Of course. Well, Tim, as those subs came on kick, those are for more marbles on kick. Understandably. So we will be, uh, yep, keeping that in mind. Ouch. 
Homer's first big mistake. Can't blame him, though. He's given it his all. Oh, not the queen. Oh, it's rough for Homer. Hello, Eddie. Good afternoon to Eddie. Thanks for joining us, sir. Oof. Oof. Oh, he does see that it's hanging. Amafel, thanks for the 34 months. Tier 3. Welcome back, my man. I appreciate the support for so long. And you, Penguin, thanks for the 7 months. Appreciate the resub. Omer4406. He throws in the towel. He says, you know what? 2200 is too much we do finally get a ban and it's at the expense of an 800 a tall order he's got almost no pieces left sometimes that's just the way the cards fall the first significant ban will be on omer 4406 A tough one for the lad. But it's going to be a ban on Omer. We'll see you later, bud. Happy holidays. We will officially see you next year. We did get a ban, which means we can continue. Exclamation mark play. Thank goodness Java Bandit. Tim, your marbles. Status has been restored after that. 2200 ensuring a ban. We got a few more. Twitch races in us, and then Tim has prepaid Marbles Energy on kick. Hey, Baz Maniac, and I, I never tire either. So, look forward to more of the same. Exclamation mark play. Surely we can fill this race again. 20 more spots. We can do it. Exclamation mark play. Fine. Brian is getting nervous. Mr. Swift Tickle is calling his shot. There are only a couple more spots left. Three to be exact. And then we start. Two more. Exclamation mark play. And we are full. Here we go. We have a great track ahead, folks. Real T-Money. Grey Knight. 
Ted McForehead and Michael J. Hawk near the front. I see Penny and get this Chala. Okay. This is an important one here. Will Real T go right up the gut? Yes, he will. Oh, he gets tripped up there. Same with Penny. He's going around the outside. Flip side as well with some speed by Real T maintaining pole position. At the back. Learner, Sad Rabbit, but some people are actually actively going backwards. Holy smokes, look at this. Hello from the queen side is way up at the front. Who's got the speed? Penny. But Lost Moose is going quicker. Lost Moose has more speed, but Penny in front. It's going to be very close at the finish. Lost Moose just ekes it out with the speed. Beautiful. Lost Moose around the left-hand side, making it happen incredible penny even pre-moved the band wait a minute penny pre-moved the band but since penny's not in a position to issue bands on other people penny must be volunteering to play a band match okay penny has pre-moved the band noted on the record Data Psy guy. Don't think they'll be last. Hang on. Badkins. But the DNF line is there. I think Badkins is safe. I think Badkins is safe. That's going to be two DNFs there. Penn MC thinks with 37 months. No way Ted finishes that race. He's done. Thank you, Penn. Welcome back. Lost Moose in front. Immediate ban from Lost Moose. Immediate ban. Poker chess. Clap it up. Well done, sir. You've uh, achieved a, a very special award. Nice. And it is in last place, Seen Kerrigan. Yes, it is. Seen Kerrigan in last place. We have an official ban issued by Lost Moose. Seen Kerrigan. In last place, says he will defend with the same username. Now, we have not forgotten the pre-move ban from Penny. And since Penny is unable to issue any bans themselves, Penny, obviously, with that pre-move ban, is volunteering to play a ban match. Makes sense. If you're pre-moving a ban and, well, you don't have the authority to ban anybody... Clearly, you're offering yourself up as tribute. So we will have two ban matches. Penny will be at the mercy of, you guessed it, Data Psy Guy. Second to last place, Data Psy Guy has the opportunity to take out Penny. But first, Lost Moose and Seen Kerrigan. Lost Moose, Seen Kerrigan, match number one, chess.com, slash play, slash online. With Penny and Data Sci Guy standing by. Here we go. A great matchup here. 1961 against the 2100 Lost Moose. Anything possible. We still have a match on deck. And we do have an official ban from Data Sci Guy. So Data Sci Guy versus Penny will be the next one.
All right, what's happening here? D5 from Scene Kerrigan, okay. Okay. Airbus driver, you have to fight the urges. Ruin, thanks for the three years. Holy, what a time to resub. Cheers, Ruin. Long time, my man. Three years from Ruin. Damn near four years from Aurman Local Hero. Thanks for the 47 months, Aurman. And flip side, another on the dot three year resub. Z flip side. Three years since I lost my first fateful game of marbles. Now, Z flip side. What was the official story? There's been so many cases over the years. What was the official story? Because I know yours was something of interest. Was it something like you made some promise and then you actually delivered on it? Something like this. It has been three years. For a lot of people, a lot of resets. Lost moves down on time here. Ah, uh, that must have been what it was, Z flip side. Maybe you made an account for the first time or something. Yeah, we'll get some trades in here. Oops. Tricky, tricky. This knight could get still trapped in here, so it's not completely over. But yeah, he, he won actually two pieces there. So even if he loses the knight, it actually is completely over. Damn. Damn, that's a slick move right there. It looks like it will be a scene Kerrigan defense. This would be the only way I can see for it not to be. Yeah, H6 is a professional move. Just making sure nothing crazy happens. Knight G3, I mean, it's like, I understand Knight G3 if you don't want to move your bishop off this square. I understand it. That's a fine move. But then, how can you take, if you're willing to move your bishop, how do you not see this? Same thing, but just better. Because here, you have work to do. This is unnecessary. Seen Kerrigan, he's also up time, by the way. Finally, he latches onto this idea. But I was about to say, this will be enough for black. To realize he needs to shuffle that rook back to a8. e5. And that should do it. Yep, unfortunate. Lost moves walks in to that one. And that should be GG. Seeing Kerrigan. No way he messes this up. Up on time. Up everything. Getting the job done. And he even comes back for the checkmate. There it is! Scene Kerrigan. Very well played. Oh wait, Scene Kerrigan's, uh, Scene Kerrigan's peeking. 
Peak rating energy. Blitz 1972. He just set a peak. Yes, he did. Look at that. Let's go, buddy. Congrats. Love that. Lost Moose cannot get the ban for the people. We have up next. That is Psy Guy and Penny. Penny will need to defend themselves. Important. After pre-moving a ban that was not theirs to pre-move. Here we go. Patty Batty has the opportunity. Tim says go Penny and then says go Patty. Tim, you got to get your pennies and your patties straight. Patties banning Penny. Penny is repping the ladies, so uh, understandable that there was quick and staunch support from TC. Now, what do we think is going to happen? This is the worst way to walk into it because, I mean, you're really asking for it at that point. Wait, is Gory, uh, should we spectate Gory so we can lose 100 points? Is Gory close to a new peak? Maybe time to spectate him so that uh, he doesn't get it. Yep, keep us updated about the Gory situation. Jeez, Gory's one win away. One win away from ending the year 2300. You know that I, I'm listening to Eddie making a joke about real tea money, and it's occurring to me that for someone in the senior citizen category, it's, it's nearly pedophilia to make a your mom joke. So Eddie had to resort to the grandmom comment. And that just occurred to me. Eddie, Eddie going straight for the grandmom. Meanwhile, what's happening with Patty the Batty here? Material not looking great. <laughs> Go Eddie. Eddie's got that post-factory energy. Not to be messed with. Not to be trifled with right now. Penny has been flawless so far. Up on time, cruising the position. Ooh. This is, I mean, it's definitely not a bad move at all. But for many moments, I would say that's been a reliable option. However, not going to hate for one second on Penny deciding to trade pieces when she's ahead. Taking central pawns. There's been absolutely zero blunders, it feels like, from black. So, great game so far. I mean, the, the trade that like, Tim... Tim is fucking... Probably has a real serious bookmark on this game. Might add it to his spank bank for later, I think. 
Tim is fuck oh fucking trades. You wanted rook a3. Jeez, you and Penny aligned again. Sometimes trades, but not always. Oh my, this is a tin cannon special right here. Oh, beauty. Beauty. For some reason, I can see this happening. Not correct, but... Can see it for sure. H3, very good move. Patty Batty just doesn't go down, you know? Like, he's definitely losing, but... You gotta give Patty Batty some credit. Turning this into a within 10 seconds game? Just not bad at all. It's now all about a time scramble and less about the material. <sighs> Great energy from Patty. Oh, that's a fantastic move from Penny, though. Right back at you. That, that, that move's going to put Patty out. Yeah. F6 was strong. Patty needed only two moves. Speed from Patty needed. Won't happen. And Patty goes down. And Penny with a, a very, very clean victory. Basically, zero mistakes that game that I saw. A plus performance. And although the ban was pre moved, it could not be delivered from the batty. Very well defended. Got a side guy with no luck today. Defense after defense, Java, it's true. I don't know how this keeps happening. We're going to do one more. And then we might need to head over to kick, where Tim has prepaid marbles energy on kick. Remember, when we start to falter here on Twitch, we head over to, to kick, where we can finally guarantee some goddamn bans. The kick energy is unmatched. Last race. Exclamation mark play. Hello, Savan. How long is the ban? You're gonna have to ban people for a real long time for these ones, Damien. Probably won't be seeing them till next year at least. Yep. We're, we're clocking big numbers. Exclamation mark play. It's our last one here on Twitch. So let's make it a full race. We got 25 more spots. Exclamation mark. Play. Stevo Ward. Up below seven. Thanks for the reset. 27 months. Fifteen more spots. Going quickly. Ten more. Bagels is in. Big confirmation. We're going to kick there mr max in case you guys are wondering where we're going to be right after this the stream will end but it's only because we're switching over to kick kick.com slash chess bra 
Go ahead and uh, follow us in advance because we're going to be doing more of the exact same thing. Marbles on kick. Thanks to Tim Cannon. Moistud is in and claimed our last spot. So we're starting. All right, folks, we have the OG endurance track. Who is dropping first? Looking good for Alexander. Holy. Alexander, bye to Vanquish. How did you do it? Way out in front. Flip side. Badkins. ABD. And it appears that Moscatel and GM Patzer are at the back. Yes, they are. Alexander E. Bye to Vanquish. Looking good for Vi to Vanquish. A lot of people going right down the gut here. Skatey Barra, Ted McForehead around the outside. Canadian Rock fan as well in the middle. Looking good for Vi to Vanquish. There's still a few more obstacles to get by, though. Doesn't have it in the bag yet. Joe the Stoic, Sivan. Vi to Vanquish clears yet another obstacle and maintains the lead. This will be the important point right here. If Vi to Vanquish gets past these two, then I think they will lock up first place. At the back, it's currently David DM, Estimal, and Penguin. Oh, hang on. Eddie doing his best to stay all the way back there. Unhappy defender as well. Vi to Vanquish currently untouched by the looks of it. This is a first place for Vi to Vanquish. Oh yeah, no one's catching Vi to Vanquish. Easy first place. Vi to Vanquish, clear first. Well played, an unhappy defender, and ready in every at the back. Will it be unhappy defender again? The DNF line is coming, but I wonder if it's quick enough. I think everybody might finish this race. Java Bandits getting in. Not John W. Christopher Cup. DNF line. It just won't be quick enough. I think Ready and Every is a clear last place finisher here. Yes, it will be. Vi to Vanquish. First place. Allen and Chess. Resub for 66 months. When we saw Allen and Chess right at the back. That's a high energy resub. He saw his name at the back and said, yep, resub me. Very high energy. I'm a crab. Look at that crab. Look at those pincers. I'm a crab. Nice. Nice, buddy. Yeah, the white text, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, Alan. It, it didn't look good on you. It wasn't the fashion statement I expected. At the end. Allen and Chess, not last place. It is ready in every. Ready in every. Buy to Vanquish has gone for a ban. Ready in every. What's it gonna be? You've been banned in what is our final marbles race on Twitch. On Twitch. He'll defend. All right. We'll need your username. Ready and every. Same with Vi to Vanquish. 
chess.com usernames and head on over to chess.com slash play slash online to get this uh, band match underway. Wow, the username is Victories. Interesting. All right, chess.com slash play slash online for Victo and Vi. Still looking for you there, ready and every. I'll refresh on my end as well. Need you logged in. Chess.com slash play slash online. Penguin, I have. We had an EU tour recently, so definitely yes. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. Is this a mobile? Is Ready and Every a mobile bra? I don't see him online yet. I'm I'm getting mobile energy. Bartek, that's the plan. After minutes have passed, ready and every says one sec. Surely we can wait. We got nothing better to do, right, guys? Chess.com slash play slash online. Yeah, did he see some Magnus Carlsen videos? Thought he could uh, just show up late for the boys? ABD's calling a clock on him. Official. Official clock being called. The 30 second countdown has been administered. ABD counting us down from 30. I still don't see him in the chat. I don't see him anywhere. Where is Ready in Every? He said he's online. I don't see you online, Ready in Every. Chess.com slash play slash online. Let's investigate further. Airbus driver says we have reached the time limit. Victories. Let's investigate. He claims to be online. He may have a case.
This is the account, I presume. Are you on mobile? He says he's in browser. Now, if you're in browser, ah, uh, not sure I believe that. We cannot start the game. You're claiming browser. You're seen to be online, and yet the game doesn't start. On tablet. Okay, it's been downgraded to tablet. The tablet defense. Not mobile, but not browser. Tablet, bro. Claiming tablet defense. Very unique defense here. He's claiming tablet. Th this means he's not on mobile. Very technically, he is not on mobile. With seconds to spare before the official ruling from Airbus Driver, the game starts and Victor Rees is playing from a tablet. Unbelievable. Back against the wall. Time expiring. Ruling about to come down. Ban about to be administered. Wone stall from Big Hammond. Oof, the Wone stall energy looking good right now. Yeah, looking great, matter of fact. Yeah, good stuff. With this move coming. This could get bad real fast. So, this is a good move in general because that bishop is so strong. But, takes, takes. Not only do you have to deal with this, but there, there could be more. There could be more heading his way. Yep, he's going to keep it real simple. I like it. Yep, he's going to stop e6, but this one and this one are coming. Such easy gameplay for white here. Tablet superpowers, you think? You think? I don't like the tablet's position here. Can't be convinced. I'm not yet convinced. Knight takes f6. I mean, clearly he's got this. There's one piece not being utilized here. He brings the knight in. He's got a great looking position, but man, knight here would have been a KO. You cannot deal with that effectively. E5. He's watching over that pawn. Now, of course, he's going to take it. <laughs> now that it's covered. Uh, knight E5 is a great, great spot there. He's probably going to grab this. Slide over here. Understandably, he could also go here. Okay, so this has a clear intention. 
Intention granted. Oh, he had the queen hanging, but he didn't expect king h8. Black lives and breathes another day here. King there was losing on the spot. Tablet energy. Oh, he's a, he's a trade bra. Tim Cannon bra. What the fucking hell? Huh? The only explanation for that is that he has that only legal move, uh, whatchamacallit on. He must. Where you, like, touch the rook, and then it automatically goes there. Oh, and the mate with the knight as well. Get that tablet out of here. Damn. Ready in every. GG. And of course, the prosecution deserves their credit here. Vai to vanquish. Well played, buddy. Definitely pretty much better from start to finish there. Provide to vanquish. Ready in every is going to receive a ban. A great KO. It will be a ban for the extent of 2023. White boy. Thanks for 30 months. Radioheads. Cheers for half a year. Not a good look for tablets around the world. GG to ready in every. We'll see you next year. <laughs> Get him out of here. Cheers, teriyaki bullets. Appreciate you, bud. Jeez, another peak. Vi to Vanquish also peaking. End of the year peak. December 28th official peak. Let's go. Love that, buddy. Great stuff. I think we concluded the Twitch Marble segment with great energy. A band to end off, but we have more marbles happening. They're just happening on Kick. Kick.com slash chessbra. That's right. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to turn the stream off and turn it back on in about 30 seconds. I'm twitched out as well, Tim, but I understand why you are. You put in multiple shifts today. Marble shifts, chess shifts. That's right, Tommy. Kick.com slash chessbra. Continuing the show today. I'll see you guys there. We got more marbles promised. Exclamation mark kick. We signed a deal and we are streaming quite a bit there. Even more than right here on Twitch. Lots of hours no matter what. So I hope to see you guys join us over there. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hit a new peak as well in Puzzle Rush. I got my 50 good enough for me thanks for joining i'll see you guys on twitch tomorrow nice and early in the a.m 